was lost. She was lost. She watched the different path. Different path. All in my head, all I hear is the double talk. Oh my God, bro! Like. Uh, yeah, I'm late, bro. Half of y'all fucking freaking out. Half of y'all freaking out that I'm like 10 minutes late. Oh my god. Hello, everybody flooding in. Why are you late? Because I'm always fucking late, bro. I, do you actually want to know why I'm late? Okay. I woke up late as fuck. And I, okay. I, I woke up late as fuck. I had a bad shit today, okay? It took a while. Then, I had a sausage, egg, and cheese. I was macking that, okay? I was macking that shit. I was macking that shit. I wasn't really, I was really paying attention. Oh, shit. I'm late to stream. Ran onto the PC, started setting that shit up. That's why I'm late. But how is everybody doing on this fantastic fucking Sunday? Uh, it's React Day today. Which is a, a little dub in the chat for that. Also, I saw that Tomball gave 5,000 fucking biddies. Good afternoon. Hello. Thank you for the fucking 5,000 biddies, Tomball. Dub in the chat for that. Uh, Nimble and Nick for the sub. Dominator for the Fiverr's bets. Can you go in media in the Discord and watch the video I edited for you? No. I'm sorry. If you can get my mods to scan it and send it to me, sure. But I'm not going to go click it right now. Uh, if you could get one of my mods to send it to me, I will look at it. Elot, Jane, and The for the sub, or if you send it in the video suggestion tab, I'm just not going to open any sketch-ass links. Uh, so if my mods could scan it first, then yeah. Uh, King for the three bits, timed out in chat for saying Joe is late. Yeah, because a lot of people spam that. Asian for the sub, Atlanta for the sub, Average for the three bits, he's cuddly for the sub, uh, eight, uh, Average for another five hundred bits. Dakman for the five hundred ten bits, still working on curing my cheddar cheese toes. What the fuck? E-Town for the sub. Bliss for the 300 minutes. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you, TTV and Trashy, for the sub. Chat, it is a fucking big react day today. Also, again, Tomball, thank you for the 5,000 fucking biddies. A lot of viewers lately? Yeah, it's January. A lot of viewers. A lot of viewers in the month of January. Don't know why. Guess you guys are off a lot. Who knows? Not going to complain, though. Uh, Aubrey for the fucking 300 biddies. We got a bunch of videos today, okay? A lot of videos, as you can see. We're starting off. Obviously, Samir Bhavnani off-brand Darman video. We'll see how that goes. Cut video, would couples kill for each other? Asking NPCs why they hate Tate, uh, which is going to be a rough video. It's going to be a rough watch. Uh, I change my name every day, uh, which is like a story time thing. Man pays $15,000 to look and live like a dog. My girlfriend identifies as a cat inside the $8 billion mega yachts trying death row inmates last meals. And then we're going into horror videos, as promised. Uh, a lot of you guys complained that on Friday I didn't end with horror videos. So today, uh, we are going to end with horror videos. Goblin and No for the sub, uh, co-alt for the three. Can you react to Barry the Blender fighting terrorism? I really don't want to watch Barry the Blender. Uh, I'm going to keep it real. Some of y'all send Barry the Blender. Like, I'll show you. Like, it, it's not, it's really not that funny. It's really not that funny. You know what I mean? My pie just said. We had all the fucking pie. Here's what it's like. And we'd be all, uh, it's like, like, that's what it's like. That's what you did. I like him. And the funny thing is, people are watching these videos every day. Oh, that's but... not, that's not even him. This is a documentary. What about avoiding alert all day? You know what I mean? Stay on edge. You want to get yourself. It's just like a three minute video, like tutorial. They're old videos. I don't really want to watch them. Um, but anyways, go out for the three. Tiptoe for the three bets. Uh, Joe Riz part two after rizzing you. The, uh, bro, I really don't want to read this. I, you're, it's, I'll, I'll play it, but it's, it's going to be creepy. It, it's, it's going to be creepy. I already know it's going to be creepy. Kyler for the five Riz bets. Joe part says they have COVID. I'm so sorry to hear that. After rizzing you, but then you pull my arm to face you. We go on a swan boat date and you see me with the sunset hitting my face and I turn on the Riz stare on you. You fall for me. See, I like, uh, uh, bro, you're, you're talking about us going on a swan boat date? What the fuck? Somebody said 238 people. There's more than 238 people typing, buddy. The view count hasn't updated. 
Also, what, like, what is with that dickhead energy? You know what I mean? 200. Oh, there it is. Oh, 238 people. Now there's 3,420. Why don't you sit the fuck down? Oh, my God. Like, it's like, even if I had 234 people, like, why diss small streamers? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I average, like, 2 to 3K. But, like, what's with dickheads coming into Twitch chatters chats and being like, buddy, you have 50 viewers. Why don't you hop on stream and see how many you get? Like, I don't get that shit. It's people that watch, like, the big-ass 60K viewer streamers, and then the second they see somebody that's not XQC, they fucking shit their pants, and they think that it's a shitty view count. Like, buddy, not everybody in this world averages 60,000 viewers. Even 50 people is good, right? So don't go into a fucking small streamer's chat and be like, oh my god, you only have 40 people. Like, fucking figure it out. Like, oh my god. Even if I did have 200 people in stream, that's still not bad. JCW for the 300 bits. 8 p.m. The guard lace my cell block. Uh, what? Uh, the Benny for the sub. MRX for the 300 bits. Gifted you a couple days ago. Said thank you. The edit out I made got. Oh, the edit that I made got 2K likes. That's a dub. For that for the 300 bits. Sparky and Jimmy for the fucking five gifted. Jimmy two cray cray for the five gifted subs. Dub in the chat for that. TK Cello, MGK Hunter Carnage Brisso for the sub. Owen for the 300 bits says, can I date Brooke? No, Luco for the sub. Chat, I have a story for you guys before we get into the reactions. Also, sorry I lost my shit on the kid that said only 238 people on stream. It just pisses me off when people try to shit on small streamers. I know I'm not necessarily a small streamer. Even if I was, it just aggravates me when people are just dickheads to tiny streamers. It's like, why? Like, why do you got to be an asshole? Like, people are, like, you, you start somewhere, right? Like, you're not always going to come up. Even if, like, people that fall off. They're like, I don't understand that. Anyways, Nitro for the sub. Or for the 300 bets. Uh, just because Joe has a smaller view count doesn't mean his streams suck. Oh, yeah, no. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I don't have XQC numbers. Who gives a fuck? Tiptoe for the 300 bets. He says, I'm not being parasocial. I'm pararizzle. Okay. Oh, I have a story for you guys. Okay? Are you guys ready for the fucking insane story that I'm about to tell you? It's not that insane. It's kind of insane. Then we'll get into the reacts. Last night, 2 30, well, actually, technically today, 2.30 in the morning, right, 12 hours ago, I'm watching, I'm sitting on the couch, I'm with Brooke, everybody knows Brooke, Brooke's my girlfriend, she's asleep, right, she's knocked out on the couch, I'm sitting on the couch, I'm macking, when I tell you I'm macking, I'm macking, I'm devouring a bag of fruit snacks while I'm watching a show called Barry on HBO, right? I'm having my little mouse moment, right? I'm having a little mouse moment. I'm just sitting there. I'm macking these little welches. I'm picking which ones I want to eat and shit. I'm, I'm loving this show, right? I'm vibing on them like episode three. I'm mac It's like 2.30 in the morning, middle of the night. I'm, I'm macking these fucking, these gummies, right? And I'm loving, I'm so zoned into this show, right? As I'm eating, I hear a loud roar, right? Like, you know when you, when, you, when you see somebody in a lifted F-250 with no muffler fly by you, and it's just like, Aah! like that, right? I hear that shit. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, what the fuck? I hear it coming, like loud, like from far away. Must have been going 75 miles an hour, right? I'm sitting there. I'm like, that's a weird noise. And this, this is all happening within five seconds. It's moving close, fast, right? I'm still watching the show. Five seconds pass. It's getting closer, right? And I'm like, holy shit. Whoever this is is moving on this road, right? But I'm still eating these fruit snacks. This is in only like a five-second span. As I'm watching the show and the sound's getting closer, I hear the car fly by my house. As I hear it fly by my house, I hear like an electrical cord rip, right? Like, like a, like a track. I thought it was a tractor trailer, right? Like a big tractor trailer going maybe 60 miles an hour. I thought it ripped the electrical cable because as I'm sitting there, I'm watching my show. I'm macking these gummies. I hear an electrical rip. I see a flash of what looks like lightning and then my power goes out. So in my mind, 
I, I see the flash of light out the window. I'm like, okay, a semi truck just flew down my road, right? I don't even know how fast they were going. They probably caught an electrical cord and ripped it out. And then the power went out in the whole neighborhood, right? So I, you know, as a curious human being, I jump up because it looks like lightning just flashed out. And I don't want to, I want to see if somebody died. So I get up. I open my blinds, right? I look out my window. First thing I see, my mailbox is gone, right? <laughs> my mailbox, I swear to God, mailbox is gone, obliterated. I'm like, I'm like, holy shit, somebody just hit my mailbox. And then, and then I look to my left, right? And I just see wires just hanging like in the middle of the road. And like, Every one of my neighbors just ran outside. And then I look more left. And you know those poles that hold the electrical cables? Hanging. Hanging. Like it's not even in the ground anymore. They went through my mailbox and fucking obliterated, obliterated the electrical pole. Like, what I tell you, dude, and that's like a tree trunk. It was like a tree trunk. Ran right through it. Well, had to be a drunk driver, right? Because had to be a drunk driver. For you, for you to be going fast enough to, to not, like, you go through a mailbox, whatever. That's not, that's not hard to run through a mailbox, right? They run through my mailbox. And then they go through an electrical pole, and they don't stop, right? They keep going. I run out, they're like 300 yards down the road. Like 300 yards. It's a lifted F, it's a lifted white F-250. This bald 50-year-old man gets out of the car. I swear to God, I'm witnessing this whole thing. Gets out of the car, stumbles out. I'm like, oh my God. Like this man, unfazed. I, how is he not dead? Like normally, dude, in a regular car, you run into an electrical pole, you're dead. Like, you're dead. You know what I mean? Like, if, if, you, he, if he was driving, like, a sedan or, like, a fucking Honda and he'd hit that pole, he would have wrapped around it and died. He obliterated it. I might have a picture of it. Bro. Bro, I do have a picture of it. Look at that. Look at that. Fucking went right through it. Right through it. Like nothing. And I'm running out there, right? And as I'm standing there, I'm having this recollection of a TikTok I watched, which talks about how when the electrical wires are touching the ground, you could immediately get electrocuted and die. And there's electrical wires laying all around me. And I go, oh my fucking God. And then I run inside, right? But then, like, a million cop cars, firefighters, ambulances show up. And all I'm thinking about is, damn, I don't have a mailbox anymore. <laughs> like, bro, he, he lived, right? Like, I saw him get out of the car. He was fine. Damn, I don't have a mailbox anymore. Like, okay, like, he literally, he obliterated my mailbox. Like, it's gone. Like, it's, I, like I need to get a new mailbox. But, like, <laughs> like... I'm sitting there, Brooke, wait, as, as this all happens, by the way, she's passed out. Like, when I hear this sound, I jolt up, and Brooke, like, goes, ah! I'm like, I'm like, relax, okay, <laughs> relax, nobody died. She, she woke up thought it, thinking somebody died, because it was, like, a loud sound. Later on, she tells me, she was like, bro, I almost shit myself, you fucking scared the piss out of me. She was, like, fast asleep, and I, and you just hear that shit? Anyways. I'm just staring out as this happens. I didn't go to bed till 4 a.m. I'm watching this unfold for like three and a half hours. All I'm thinking about is what is bro going to do now? You know what I mean? Like you're you're going, it's 2.30 in the morning on a Saturday. He had to be drunk driving. He had to be drunk driving. For him, for him to be going that fast and swerve off the road at 2.30 in the morning hit a mailbox, hit an electrical pole, knock out the power. Also, one of my neighbors 
one of my neighbors comes outside, starts yelling at the police officer, talking about, I had my groceries. I had my groceries. Now the power's out. My groceries are going to go bad. Like, what the fuck is the police officer going to do? My groceries are going to go bad. Put them outside. It's freezing outside. You live in New Jersey. You live in New Jersey. It's 30 degrees outside. Put them outside. Put your fucking groceries outside. Waiting for the fucking get, or not the gift is, the raid. Thank you for the fucking raid. Uh, Rosie for the sub, Bristow for the sub, uh, W Key for the sub, Alexander Bristow and It's for the sub, Meek for the 300 biddies. First time ever donating to you. I'm going to do it for you, G. Thank you. Love the content. Thank you. Uh, Coffee and Sponge for the sub, Brazy, uh, and Kason for the sub, King for the 300 bets. My football team's in the playoffs. Cool. Ducky for the 340 bets. Fire for the 300 bets. Finish Super Seducer. No way you played that whole fucking game. Bailey for the sub, JCW for the 300 bets. What about Case Cooking and Bloods versus Crips? I don't know if I'm ever going to watch Bloods versus Crips. That video is like 30 minutes long, and it actually doesn't look that entertaining. Uh, Tipped up for the 300 bets. I'm not Paris. Oh, I already read that. All right. Drew for the 300 bets. Corey for the 500 bets. And Crushed for the 300 bets. My neighbor tried to shoot my dog, and then their house burned down a week later. Holy shit. Your neighbor tried to kill your dog? Dude, if one of my neighbors tried to kill my dog, I would actually, I would, I would fucking lose it. That would be, that, that would be like the worst thing somebody could do. Try and kill my dog. Ken, Ken from the Fringe Bets. Last few donos I had on Twitch named as cold. Now I named, now I've made my Twitch name my Discord name. That's good. Also. No, like it seemed surreal. I had gotten home. I was at a friend's house too. I had gotten home like 20 minutes before this. No lie. 20 minutes before this, Brooke passes out. All I was thinking about was like, bro, imagine if I left later. Imagine if I left later and this man hit me. I would have died. I literally would have died. Like, I, I would have been dead. There would have been no stream today, chat. Because I would have been in the ground. I would have been fucking dead. Anyways. All I'm thinking, too, is like, what is he going to say? You know what I mean? Like, if he's not under... Also, they started checking his car and shit for narcotics drugs, all that stuff, right? Because he had to be under something. If he if he wasn't drunk, he, he, he'll walk away. He's not going to get arrested. But like, the amount of, like, how much does that cost? Like, if you run through an electrical pole, how much do you have to pay? <laughs> like, you don't just get to go, you don't just get to go, my bad, bro. My bad, bro. Fist bump. My bad, bro. Fist bump. See you later, man. Like, you got to be paying, like, what, 10k? That's not tax dollars. That your tax dollars do not go towards if you run through an electrical pole. That's on you, right? Like, you got to pay for that. Anyways, he's sitting there. I, all I'm thinking about is this man is not going to bed tonight. Like, he had to be there for probably, like, four more hours. Like, you don't just, you don't just hit an electrical pole, the police show up, and then you get to go home. Like, you, like they got to question you. They got to get all your shit. Then you can't even drive home. You got to go to the hospital. You got to check if you're dead or not. Like, you have internal bleeding. I was just like, dude. And his car was unfazed. Like, that That could have been an F-250 ad. That could have been a Ford ad right there. That could have been literally a Ford ad. He, he fucking ran through that pole. His car looked fine. His car looked fine. Like, it just ate that shit. Like, imagine that. You just, like, he would have never died. He could have he ran right into a brick wall. He would have been fine. Lucid for the sub, peanuts for the 400 bets. Gonna have more bets soon, phase for the 300 bets. I have a seed for you to look at if you want. What do you mean a seed? Like a Minecraft seed? I'm already on a Minecraft world. Bristow and David for the sub, uh, MRXY for the 300 bets. What's your Rocket League rank? Haven't played in six months. Uh, so I don't even know. Uh, Jimmy for the 300 bets. Sometimes I wonder if you're raging due to steroid use. I'm not on roids. If you think I'm on roids, you don't understand uh, levels of working out. I'm not trying to be a dick, but ADS for the sub. I've been the same weight for four years. Uh, that's not how steroids works. I've been the same weight since my junior year in high school. Like, I'm not on roids. This is a perfectly attainable natural body. I weigh 178 pounds, and I'm 6'2", or 6'1". Like, that's not absurd. All right. Can we get into reacts now, chat? How did his Ford run through an electrical pole and a mailbox and be unfazed? He was going quick. I don't know how he hit that, though, because that's off the road. You know what I mean? Like, that's not, like, electrical poles aren't right next to the road. That's, like, it's, like, five feet off. Like, he had to, like, pass out or something. He might have been asleep. But if you're asleep, you're not going 70 miles an hour. 
Like, he had to be going quick, too. To be able to go through that, it's not just wait. you got to be going fast. Holy shit. Pork for the Thringe Vets. I just ate three bowls of cereal, gained two pounds. I don't know what to do. Go take a shit. You'll lose the weight. Uh, also, let's get into the reacts now, chat. Uh, M. Hall's for the sub. Starting off, number one. Kids copy Stranger Things and learn a lesson. Samir Bhavnani. Also, how do I get a new mailbox? Does anybody know? How do I get a new mailbox? Like, where do you get a mailbox? Like, I don't know. <clears throat> Target? You can buy a mailbox at Target. Amazon. Where are they going to ship it? <laughs> Man, you mail a mailbox to a mailbox? Oh, wait. Home Depot. Yeah, that's probably where. M halls for the sub. All right. Kid copies Stranger Things and learns a lesson. Also, chat. I'm, I'm going to be pausing a lot. Got these new throat lozenges because my throat's still been fucked. It's getting a little bit better. You think these work? Sam Buckas, Sam Bucas, Elderberry. Do we give one of these a try? I feel like they're going to taste like shit. I feel like they're going to taste like absolute garbage. These look bad. These look like, you know when you go over to your grandparents' house and they have those gross-ass strawberry candies? That's what this looks like. Ugh. Oh, my God, dude. They look like prunes. I'm going to tank through it. Drew for the sub. Looking for something, boys? Why is this shit in, like, why is this shit in 240p? Jesus Christ. No, I don't watch the coming ups. I need to see the actual show. Here we go. Or the video. Jimmy for the three minutes. How do you copy Stranger Things? Does the, the best friend go missing and they kidnap a little girl? I don't know. Apparently, this is copying Stranger Things, though. I've never even seen the show. So we'll see how it goes. Face for the three bets. It's just a quick, a quick look. I really want your reaction to it. To what? A Minecraft seed? You want me to launch Minecraft so I can go look at the Minecraft seed? What's the Minecraft seed? What do you mean? It's a quick look. That's not a quick look. I have to go on a game and, go, and load up Minecraft. It's going to be some dirt path. Do it. What's the fucking seed? Jesus Christ, chat. Do I go look at the seed? Misty for the sub. Tell me the fucking seed. You haven't seen Stranger Things? No. Because I don't watch mainstream shit, okay? I don't watch mainstream shit. I refuse to. When people hype up a show, I don't want to watch it. Dude, this tastes like shit. No, I'm locked in. We're watching this video. You took too long to send the seed. Everybody lock the fuck in. Everybody lock the fuck in. I'm seeing a lot of off-topic chatters here. Everybody lock the fuck in right now. What? Did he just disappear? Like, what happened? An orc lurking in the shadow, and suddenly you least expect it. An orc! And that is how your elf got killed, Sheldon. Danny, oh man, you did it again. How wow. Wow, is this a school project? Also, why did the quality just drop drastically here? Danny, oh my god, you did it again. And that is how your elf got killed, Sheldon. Danny, oh man, you did it again. How do you not see this coming each time? Guys, I gotta go home. I told my mom I'd be home around this time. Come on, Jimmy, your mom's cool. Let's go cycle around. Yo, they must be paying these kids a dollar. No lie. Like, they must be paying these kids five dollars to act in this shit. Like, five dollars in a Spongebob Popsicle. Like, they're not, like, uh, bro, there's no way they're making a salary off this. Like, they're, uh, what the fuck? 
This is the worst acting I've ever seen. I'm so sorry. Like, I'm not even making fun of them. Like, they're young. They're, they're obviously going to be shittier actors than people that have experience. But, like, oh, my God, this is awful. A race, remember? I always finish last. I don't want a race. And besides, you're not supposed to cycle too far. Whatever Dude, happens... Dude, this tastes like shit. I got to fucking spit this out. What the fuck is elderberry? That shit makes me want to vomit. Oh, my God. Ugh. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm Mangoes for the sub. Jimmy from the Thringe Vets. These kids probably got bullied at school for these videos, or they're praised for them, one of the two. Mr. Green for the 400 Vets. Do you think they get made fun of or they're popular because of this? Gage for the sub. Uh, And Misty for the sub. Been to Mike has scared all our parents. Yeah. Look at the Minecraft seed. Oh, my fucking God. Yo, I'm going to say this right now. Face. I'll look at the Minecraft seed. If it's a shitty seed, I'm going to time you out for a day and a half. I'm going on it right now. I swear to God, I'm going on it right now. If it's, it, Is that the deal? Is that the deal? If, it, if, it, if it's a shitty seed, I'm timing you out for a day. Is that a fucking deal? I swear to God, I'm going to open this up and it's literally going to be the worst seed ever. Bro, no damn way you got me launching Minecraft for this shit. Oh my God. Uh, uh. Phase for the 1400 bit, he says here. Bro, that's, that's got to be the deal. Oh, my God, dude. It takes forever to launch Minecraft. Uh, yo, chat, what are the odds the seed's shitty? What are the odds the seed's shitty? It's going to be some fucking weird-ass seed in the middle of nowhere. Uh, all right. Single player. Create. Seed. We'll go in creative, more, seed, copy, paste, create. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see how it is. Let's see how it is. Let's see the fucking, the final results here. Oh, where the fuck did the world go? Oh, there it is. Up oh, there. Nope. What the fuck? I'm not even putting game capture for... Okay, this is a cool world. This is a cool world, but, like, you can't live on this. Like, you literally can't live on this. Like, where are you going to get, like, materials? Damn, this is a dope world, though. But it's probably only here. Like, right when you move past it, it probably just gets shitty again. Let me turn off my shaders. Oh, yeah, it looks shit without shaders. <laughs> I mean, it's still cool, but it looks shitty without shaders. It just looks like a regular... I mean, like, it just looks weird. Like, it's a very it's a very blocky... See, now that now it's normal again. I mean, it's, like, it's an all right seed. It's not that cool, though. The Mesa biome's cool. That shit. Look in here. Luck of the sea. Okay, this is a pretty sick world, but I'm not playing on it. We already have the hardcore world we're doing. All right, back to reacts. Caden for the sub. Call for the three. Do you give him a chance to watch the Barry the Blender video fighting terrorism? Oh, my fucking God. I, bro, Coalt, I literally just said to you, I don't, I'll literally put on Barry the Blender and I'm going to fucking cringe. I'm not. I'm not putting on any viewers' videos after this. If you want me to watch a video, exclamation point Discord, send it in the video suggestion tab, okay? That's why it's there. That's why it's there. So I don't have to do this on stream. So I don't have to do this on stream to determine whether or not it's a shitty video. It's going to be a shitty video. I already know it's going to be a shitty video. It fails.
Now, since I'm Northern Irish, uh, I may as well talk about the number one weapon of choice for Northern Irish terrorists, which is indeed the petrol bomb, or for my retarded American friends, the Molotov cocktail. First of all, we may as well talk about the evolution of the petrol and well, the M47 bomb attack in a ring. Tell your coaches, just playing high. to playing in the chest, 300 style. The second most popular way to hijack a plane would be to hold someone hostage with a bottle of uh, flammable liquids. The best way I find to attack someone who's trying to attack you with flammable liquids is take a small miniature bottle of whiskey that you've bought from, from the air hostess. Simply bottle the cunt with a small miniature bottle of whiskey. Okay, like this was a... Bro, here's my point. This was a good video nine years ago when it came out, right? This was a good video in 2013. It's 2023. It's not a good video anymore, right? It's like watching back Smosh, right? Anybody remember Smosh? Anybody remember Smosh food battles? Anybody remember those? Watch one of those. <clears throat> those were fire as shit, right? Food battle 2012, or 2012. You probably remember that as fire as fuck. Rewatch it now. Uh, sorry, Ian's mom. <laughs> See, it's shitty now. It, the content changes. In 10 years, People are going to watch my shit back and be like, what the fuck was this? Liam for the sub. It gets worse, right? Like, it was funny then. Now it's not. Like, now it's not. Smash humor was only funny because we were young. That, like, that's watchable. Yeah, Barry the Blender is watchable. It's not good, though. Watch one more minute. It's it's funny. No. I'm letting, no. I gave, I gave you the benefit of the doubt. I, I watched it twice. I already knew I didn't like Barry the Blender videos that much. It's also just a bad react vid. You know what I mean? Good react vids are stuff that I can talk about. What am I going to talk about Barry the Blender? All he's going to... He, he just does random shit. All right. We're getting back to the regular reacts. Flask for the 600 bets. Here's another one. Not looking it up. Tricky for the 300 bets. I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. Don't send me any more Minecraft seeds. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm really sorry if I'm, if I'm coming off as a dick right now. I want to I wanna react to bits. I want to react to bits. We're getting way too off topic right now. Fuck Minecraft right now. Fuck Minecraft. I'm playing Minecraft tomorrow. Fuck Minecraft. Don't want to play Minecraft right now. Fuck Barry the Blender. Fuck Minecraft. Love Barry the Blender. Probably a really nice guy in real life. Don't want to watch his shit right now. Video came out nine years ago. Don't want to watch it. Fuck Barry the Blender. Fuck Minecraft right now. Watching Darman vids. Done. He's got a point. Hmm. Lock what it! What did happen to Mike? I don't know. But I hope they find him soon. He's been missing two days now. Yeah, I What did Barry do? Nothing. I just don't want to watch Barry the Blender. Oh, my God. It, it, dude, his videos aren't that bad. But, like, they're not react vids. Like, I can't say anything about them. His parents at school, they were crying a lot. Wish we could do something to help. Well. Bro, that's no emotion. That's literally NPC acting. They were crying a lot. I'm so sorry, bro. Oh, my God. At school, they were crying a lot. Wish we could do something to help. Well. Why don't we? What do you mean? Well, we know where he was last seen. You could say stuff that you agree with for Barry the Blender. Co-op. Co-op. Why do you want to... Why do you want me to watch Barry the Blender so fucking bad? What is... What is with your fixation on Barry the Blender? It's, it's a, a video that came out nine years ago. I was 11. When that video came out. I don't want to watch Barry the Blender. Oh my god. I'm Please. Please. Stop telling me to watch Barry the Blender. Kowalt's in the right. You're in the wrong. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. Bottle of whiskey. Take us back Brazil Jiu Jitsu style, or as they called Brazil Jiu Jitsu, and then proceed to repeatedly heel kick him right in the balls over a. <laughs> over and over and over again until his balls are all, all a mess. Third and final most popular way to hijack a plane would be the good old fashioned shoe bombing. Now what you have to do in this case is you let the shoe bomber take your back and then you employ some Israeli fight techniques called Kev McGrath.
Once the terrorists are trying to attack your back, what you do is do a rolling knee bar and simply snap his foot clean off his body. <coughs> I'm far. Why I'm sore. How how can I commentate on this? That's my question to you. What would I say? Like, I understand. I understand that, like, I can talk about most things. I can't say anything about this video, right? Like, I'm a, I am a commentary fucking streamer when it comes to reactions, right? I'm a variety streamer, yeah. But, like, I'm commentating on videos. I share my opinion. How am I? What do you mean? I can agree with that. Oh, yeah, what a good technique. Really kick them in the nuts and rip off their leg. Like, what? How am I going to say anything about that? That's all I'm saying. Like, it's uncommentatable. That's why I don't want to watch it. It's uncommentatable. That's what I need to get across. When you guys send me videos to react to, I have to be able to say something about it, right? If I can't say something about it, watch the beheading bit. No! No! Koal, I'm done. Koal, I'm never watching Barry the Blender ever again on this Twitch stream. I love you, man. Not like that. I love you, man. I appreciate your support. Never watching Barry the Blender ever again on, on, on Twitch. Ever. Ever. Barry the Blender, done. Locked in, back to the vid. Mia for the 300 bets. Mia for the 300 bets. Again, Jimmy for the 300 bets. Only these kids got, uh, got on play for Stranger Things is their shit haircuts. Oh, my God. Bro, like, I... Like, I love when you guys send me videos to react to. But, like, when I watch the video and I'm like, it's not a good react vid. And then you keep trying to tell me that it is. It's not. I can't say anything about it. I can't. It's like, it'd be like me watching, like... A fucking mo uh like what are the what are those dumbass mojo top tens? Like what the fuck am I gonna watch? The mojo top ten top ten Marvel heroes. Like I can't say anything about those videos. Co op for the three said I love you too. That's parasocial. Don't see now that's parasocial. Oh my god. Not watch a bury the blender. Back to this. Why don't we go there and look? Are you out of your mind? My mom will get so mad if she finds out. And not to forget how dangerous that is. Guys, listen. We knew Mike. We can search the area and probably figure out what the cops couldn't. And why is that? Well, if we see that area, we know where he'd most likely go. No way, Danny. This is a bad idea. Come is this on. the same plot as Stranger Things? I've never even seen Stranger Things. So I don't know if this is the plot. It is. Somebody, like, kind of. Somebody gets lost. They have to go find them. Some bullshit like that. Yeah. Bro, I'm about to eat one of these elderberry things. I'm just going to tough it. I'm going to tough it, chat. I'm going to deal with how shitty it tastes. I'm going to ignore the bad taste. Because it's probably good for me. It's like when you take those health shots and you want to fucking throw up. Come on, Jimmy. Think about it. Imagine if we rescue Mike. The whole school is gonna know our names. We wouldn't be called nerds anymore. No way. You're not convincing us of this one. Danny's right. Remember the kids in Stranger Things? They all started off as nerds and they became super cool. And they got girlfriends too. <laughs> Bro, it's like he's reading the script while he's saying it. Like behind this kid's head is somebody with a fucking postal card and he's just reading it. Started off as nerds and they became super cool and they got girlfriends too. See? But he's not even looking at him. <laughs> it looks like he's looking at like his forehead. They became super cool and they got girlfriends too. See? He's got a point. Just imagine what everybody will say when you're the one to bring Mike home. Okay, okay. Let me tell my mom I'll be 30 minutes late. We'll just try for 30 minutes, okay? Okay, sounds perfect. And you're have... only gonna try and look for your missing friend for a half hour? That's all the time you can spare? Your friend gets kidnapped? And you look for him for 30 minutes, half an hour, and then you give up. Constant for the sub. We have to leave our phones here. What? Why? We got walkie-talkies. Duh. Gotta do it right. That's a great idea. 
Let's take our bikes and go. We don't have our bikes here. Fine, I'll take my scooter. I just wanted to look cool because like cool people ride bikes, you know? What about us? So you'll walk, okay? Mike! 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 This is the farthest I've gone from home. I yeah, I'm what a good plan. Just ride around the town and start screaming Mike. Your friend gets kidnapped. He could be in fucking Tijuana right now. Your friend could be in Tijuana right now. You're in fucking Michigan. You're just riding around this. Mike! 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 Like he's just going to appear out of thin air. I'm kind of scared. Come on, guys. Let's look around. Where do you think he went? You know, Carter is. He could have gone there. Oh, yeah. Let's check it out. And maybe he dropped something behind to help us find him. Okay. That was in English. Oh, yeah. Let's check it out. And maybe he dropped something behind to help us find him. Okay. Let's go. Mike. 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 Live stream Omegle. That's TOS on Twitch. I would get instantly banned. Are you in here? Mike. 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 Sheldon, any luck? Haven't seen him. Why is it TOS? Uh, I think it's like consent for viewership and have you ever been on Omegle? Like every third fucking person is just a dick. Like, <laughs> have you ever been on Omegle? Like, that's why. <laughs> like, like, uh, I like, I think it's pretty self-explanatory why Omegle's TOS. Yes, literal dick. Yes. <laughs> I will see him. I've looked everywhere. I can't find him. We have you up now. We went so Stop it! Get and help us! I am. I'm happy to do that. I'm saying, how can you get a heat stroke on this map? No, he's about to kidnap them. Nah, is this, is, is this Stranger Things? Does this happen in Stranger Things? I've looked everywhere. I can't find him. We'll put ah! the gloves on to go grab him. Ah! Any sign of him? I found the sock. Do you think it's his? Ah! A spider! Ugh! It's getting late. Let's just go back. You're just a quitter, Jimmy. Be quiet, Danny. You're playing dinner. It's getting late. It's like noon. <laughs> it's, it's getting late. It's like broad daylight out. It's like 3 p.m. on a Saturday. Or G. Jimmy, it's getting late. Jimmy, we've been looking for like 15 minutes. I mean, he might as well be dead. Like, we're not gonna find him. Looking for something, boys? Yes, our friend Mike, he's lost. Oh my, poor Mike. I'm simply not talking to this man. If I'm, if I'm 10 and this dude walks up to me and says looking for something and he's wearing fucking gloves and it's hot out, I'm running. I'm immediately running away. Like, I, I already know how that's gonna unfold. I'm looking for him too. Oh. You know Mike? He's my son. No, I know his parents. You're not his dad. I know, but um, he's like a son. He's my nephew. Mike's dad has to be at home. And they're not running away? He's my son. No, he's not. I know his parents. No, but no, no, no. He's like, he's like a son. What the fuck? I would be like, oh, get the fuck away from me. Home because his wife is devastated. So I'm out here trying to help. Oh, genius is my superpower. You guys ever have one of those shirts? When you were younger, one of those cringe ass shirts. I used to have, I used to have that one. Like when I was in like fifth grade, I used to have like, can't talk, I'm gaming. Sorry, I'm distracted. I'm on the game or something like that. Like one of those dumbass shirts. I had the You Mad Bro shirt too. Oh, that was the worst. I literally, I had the You Mad Bro shirt with the troll face. The one that's like, like that shit. No. Bro, I was a loser. Mr. Yo-Yo for the 300 bets. I ordered a pizza from this new place and it came out of a cremation center. What? We're so sorry about what happened to your family. We're trying to help. We want to help find him. I'd rather be gaming. Oh, One yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Victor. I'm Danny. This is Jimmy and this is Sheldon. Yeah. Wow. Why you... don't you just tell him your social security number? Boys are a blessing. I'm pretty sure he went that way. 
Guys, guys, I'm pretty sure he went that way. If you get in my sketchy ass car, I'll take him right over. There's a toy store he used to love. See, I told you that we'd find a lead. Where's the store exactly? It's just around the corner. My car's right here, and y'all can pile in, and we can put your scooter in the trunk. I don't know. Come on, Jamie. Don't you want to help his family? I guess we're just checking that store, right? Yes. If it's right around the corner, just fucking go there. It's like one block. That's like a three-minute fucking walk. And I'm sure we'll find a clue there. Or he might have come back there. Okay, let's go. Yo, what a dumbass scooter is that, too? But he's got the two fucking wheels in the front. Jesus Christ. That looks like the worst scooter ever. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. How can you be so blind, Jimmy? Look what you did. What? I just bent it on my shoelaces. Are you okay, Mr. Victor? I think so. You just want to get out of this. What? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, he's acting like he got a concussion. He did like a, a like a brisk trip. You see me so blind, Jimmy. Look what you did. What? I just bent it on my shoelaces. Are you okay, Mr. Victor? I think so. You just want to get out of this so you can go back home to your mommy. Be quiet, Danny. Don't talk about my mom. Or what? Don't talk about my mom like that, you fucking pussy. I've had enough of your shit, Jimmy. I'll beat the piss out of you. Whoa. Guys, now what do we do? Is he is he dead? No. I think he's okay. Call the cops or the ambulance. You made us keep our phones at home. Remember? Oh yeah. Jimmy, Sebastian, Matthew, what are you doing here? You have me worried sick. I'm sorry, Mom. We were we were We were looking Bro, for she looks my age. Mike. She literally looks my age. And she has like a 10 year old son. Who's this? Oh, this is Victor, his uncle. His uncle? I met Mike's entire family yesterday to console them. I've never seen him before. Console you? them? You didn't find him. He's not guaranteed dead yet. Oh my God. I knew it. This man could be behind. Would you ever go on the general banter podcast if you were asked? I don't even know what podcast that is. Who's on that? Heidi for the sub tiptoe for the 300 bets. I told my parents I didn't want any pictures or any talking on my shirts when I was little. Bro, I still get gifted shirts like that. For Christmas this year, I got a shirt uh, that said, I flexed and my sleeves fell off. I'm never wearing that. I flexed and my sleeves fell off. Show us the shirt. Bro, I don't even know where it is. Never wearing that. Absolutely never wearing that. I flex and my sleeves fell off. Bro, who the fuck? Like, if I walked around it, bro, if I wore that on TikTok, bro, oh my God. The amount of the amount of shit, I would I would never hear the end of it. I would never hear the end of it if I wore that. The Grifty for the set, Vin Run for the Fringe Bets. Fuck airports and some and somebody said isn't Stranger Things, it's unusual objects. <laughs> what do you mean fuck airports though? Are you at an airport? Uh and Mr. Yo Yo for the Fringe Bets. Oh, I already read that. Uh, Demid for this, uh, for the sub, and Jimmy for the three Jimmy's actually a dub. He's not letting shit slide. Facts. Behind Mike's disappearance. Let the cops handle this. Let's get out of here, kids. Victor was actually a kidnapper who was trying to abduct kids. I'm sorry, mom. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mrs. Matthews. Sorry. Look, boys. I know you were trying to help, but you need an adult with you. This was very dangerous. Can you imagine what would have happened if he took you guys too? Yo, you already know the friends be fucking grilling him. That's you, the friends be grilling him. Yo, Jimmy, your mom's so hot, man. <laughs> Yo, Jimmy, Jimmy, your mom is so hot, man. Oh my God. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, your mom, bro, like, it's like, oh my God. But in Stranger Things... No, I say we go to Jimmy's house. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Matthews. That is a... I swear she's into me. TV show. Nothing will happen to the main actors in it. And even if it does, they'll find a way to bring them back to life, like a Marvel movie. 
This is real life. You're right, Mom. We shouldn't have. Well, thanks to you, Mike's been found. Although I never want you to do that again. So here's cake to celebrate the sheer dumb luck. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! And don't go copying a Marvel movie next. Yay! Okay. Give me the cake! Luckily, Mike was found after the cops. That was improv right there. That was improv. Got a hold of Victor. When you are young, you may want to help, or you may not see how dangerous the situation can be. You should always seek the help of a trusted adult so you can be. <laughs> Bro, that new angle, and he just laid on the floor like he got a concussion. Situation can Bro, be. he barely fell. You should fell. always seek the help of a trusted adult. That, like, he literally, he literally didn't even really fall. Like, he caught himself. So you can be. And then out he just laid down. Of harm's way. And remember, real life is not a TV show. It's never as fun as the Lord of the Rings card game. Oh, God. It looks. Hey, I truly hope you enjoyed. I'm not taking a break. I'm rendering. Bro, like, every, yo, y'all have all got gifted one of these shirts at, at some point, right, chat? Like, every dude, specifically, gets, if you play video games and you're a guy, your fucking aunt or someone, always. Bro, I'm not, I'm taking, I'm taking a break from the game to be here. I'd rather be gaming. I'm not, I'm not taking a break, I'm rendering. Oh, God. Like, I, no one wears these shirts and, and they're like, yeah, this shit's fire. No way. Goblin for the thousand biddies says, I'd rather have your cake, Jimmy's mom. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy's mom, I really appreciate the cake, but I know another cake that I would rather have. <laughs> 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 Mr. Riff for the Thridge Bets. Are you still doing Minecraft Mondays? Yeah, tomorrow's going to be a Minecraft day. Uh, Z Tamish for the Thridge Bets. Lesson of the day. If your friend ever goes missing, abuse a pedophile and will mysteriously be found. Bro, they didn't even abuse him, though. He tripped and fell and then just laid there till the cops came in. Work for the 300 bets. And two inch for the fucking... Uh, or two inch for the bets. Oh, God. Here we go with this one. What is this about to be? Joe, holy shit, that blonde girl was so fine, brew. OMG. She was a 10 out of 10 Tinder ain't got girls like that, holy shit. I would let her shed in my mouth and I would swallow. I would be behind her in a human centipede. God, I need. God, I need that munch gang. Bite my balls off. Oh, God. Bro, like, like, <laughs> I don't believe you that you would let her do these things, right? Like, I feel like you're joking. Like, if the scenario came down to it, there's no way you're going to let her do any of that shit. Like, that's absurd, bro. That's nuts. Out of pocket. Out of pocket. What the fuck is Samir about to say? That video, remember to drop it a oh, like. It truly up. means a lot to me. It helps out the YouTube algorithms and it makes you feel a lot better. Also, subscribe to How this the hell channel. Does dropping a like make me feel better. Oh, we're growing quickly. We finally hit 1 million subscribers. Leave a comment. You know, as always, I love reading as many comments as I can and I reply to as many as I can. You can also follow me on Facebook where you see some exclusive. Facebook? I love the way how the kidnapped actor fell gently so he doesn't actually hurt himself. Again, another awesome video from Samir Bhavnani. As always, never disappoint us all. And I'd like to thank you for all your hard work that you put into making, spelled making wrong. Is that how you spell making? No. But making all these videos, you only put in 100% in every video. You do. We can't thank you enough for all for doing all these videos and not for getting all the hard work. Dude, what an NPC comment from Lynn Johnston. Jesus Christ. This teached me to keep my distance from the kids. I am kidnapping. Thank you, Samir. Nah.
Nah, bro. Oh my god. No, oh my fucking god. Wadzi for the 300 bets. Is it better to have a cute mom or an ugly mom? I don't fucking know. All right, next video. <laughs> next video. Would couples kill for each other? Side x side cut. Or it's a cut video. Would you kill to protect your partner's life? No. So you'd let your partner die? Oh, that was a quick answer. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody redeemed headset that? It's not that bad. Dandy for the 300 bets. Hey, man, I'm a new viewer. Found you on YouTube a couple months ago. I want to say you have gained a new regular watcher. Thank you. Appreciate the fucking support, too. I don't like these questions immediately. Like, when you're sitting there and you're like, would you, would you murder an entire family of innocent people to save your husband? Like, in what world would that ever be a, a fucking actual scenario you would be in? Would you kill all of your family to save your wife? What? I'm Alex. Quavion. How long have you been dating? It's been a little over a month. We have been dating for almost a year. We've been married for six years. Been married to my wife, Molly, for 27 years. 28 years. Don't quote me on that. This video is in partnership with Accused. Yo, you know he got shit for that. Yo, you know damn well he got shit for that. Right after this video came out, you didn't fucking know. You didn't know how long we've been fucking married. You didn't know how long we've been fucking married. Are you kidding me, Tom? 28 fucking goddamn years. You think it was 27? You didn't know? SL3, choose a shirt and I'll mail it to you whenever you make a P.O. box. Hardshirts.com. Bro, I don't want any of those cringe-ass shirts. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gaming. No, I don't want to wear one of those. I don't know when I'm going to make a P.O. box, too. The new Fox show. Accused is a show about ordinary people getting caught up in an extraordinary situation and facing a series. Bro, I don't care about this show. Oh, my God. Partner, questions all around moral dilemmas. Are you ready? Yep. Yes. Is it okay to lie? Yes, in some situations. Sometimes. If it's not hurting other people. <laughs> Sometimes. Is it okay to lie in general? Or is it okay to lie to your partner? What one are they asking? Your partner, no. But in general, like a white lie, yeah. If somebody's like, hey, do I look weird? No, you look great. <laughs> but like... Like, yeah, one of my, one of your friends asks you, hey, hey, does it look like I've been gaining weight? No. <laughs> Just admit, no. Like a white lie or something like that. Like, you're not going to be like, you know, it depends on the situation. The truth. Your partner, though, no. Your partner, you just, you just tell them the fucking facts. You just tell them how it is. Just look at the website. Forklift certified. Oh, these are actually pretty good. Oh, I would wear these. Uh, Capybara Commander. Or Capybara Commander. Forklift certified. Increase inflation. These ones are like funny. Yeah, like those ones make sense. But then they have, like, cringe-ass ones. Tiptoe for the 3 bets. That dude looks like Chris Rock clone. What? Has more problems than a lie. Is it okay to lie? No. Little lies become big lies. Uh, in certain situations, yes. Oh. He said yes. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> have you lied to your partner? No. Not yet. <laughs> Maybe in the future. <laughs> Is it ever okay to commit a crime? Yes. What do you think your wife's gonna say? She'll probably say no. She's a big rule follower. I am a rule follower, so... I would say no, and he would- See, okay, if anybody says no, they're a fucking liar. The big rule. Hold up. Should probably say- okay to commit a crime. Is it ever okay to commit a crime? If the second somebody says no, have you ever- have you ever been speeding? Have you ever gone over the speed limit? You just committed a crime. You just committed a crime. You just broke the law. You just broke the law there. Right there. Like, what the fuck? Oh, uh, Wadzi, I'm not reading that bit down now. Uh, and thank you for the three inch bets. And I doubt that would happen. Uh, too much for the three inch bets. 
Oh, God damn it, dude. Not another one. Would I kill for my partner? If it's that blonde girl, then I would kill anyone she wanted to as long as she sits on my face and just shits everywhere on my face. God, I can just imagine the feeling. Um, oh yeah, I to be motorboated by her god. Bro, what? Two inch. What the fuck? And Wadzi for the 300 bits. If somebody did that, they would be a stalker. Like, genuinely. Uh, that would just be weird. Like, w would somebody do that? Maybe. I don't know. If they do, is that really weird? Yeah. Uh, burn up for the sub. Yes. What do you think your wife's gonna say? She'll probably say no. She's a big rule follower. I am a rule follower. So, I would say no. And he would probably say it depends on the crime. Yeah, I think it can be okay. Previous decades, there were laws for segregation. So, uh, if the law is highly morally unjust, I think it's okay to break that law. If your partner was in terrible pain- You're a hater till you try it. Two inch, you just said you would let somebody shit on your face. That's not- I'm not a hater, bro. That's not even something I would ever want to try. What do you mean you're a hater till you try it? You haven't even tried it. If you've tried that, that's nuts. Scarcore for the 300 bets. As an empath, I think Two Inch is oddly obsessed with shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, bro. Oh, my God. Uh, SL for the three. Buddy, whoever sent that, touch grass. Just go outside, get fresh air. Literally. Well, that's Two Inch. Uh, but no, Wadzi. You brought that up way later. That is kind of weird that you brought that up then. Like, you're going to do that. Uh, but if anybody did do that, that would just be really creepy. Um, anyways. Scarcore for the 300 bets and you cannot afford the drugs they need, would you steal the drugs for them? Yes. Some aspirin, no. Like a, <laughs> like a terminal, like a cancer drug, yes. I feel like I'm going to get arrested when I leave. <laughs> like, are they out there? Are police out there? Would you steal drugs? Bro, somebody redeemed headset then again. Throw money for them. Yes. Uh, no, I probably wouldn't. Yeah, she would steal those. She said she would steal? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to let her. I don't think I could steal. Ever. I don't think I could ever steal. Not only because I don't want to, but, like, if I ever had to steal something, bro, oh, my God. I would be so nervous. I would not. No. Like, dude, I don't, I don't have an urge to steal ever. But, like, if I was ever tasked with stealing... Like, I would be fucking shitting bricks, dude. Oh, my God. Like, I would be so fucking nervous. The Russian for the 300 bets. Should we do a poll to silence two inch? No. Suffer. Would you take the blame for a crime your partner Zenji committed? Zenji can If it was, like, heinous, um, maybe? You're a month into this relationship. <laughs> you know, that's... I really do like this guy. Um, no, I wouldn't. He said he would for you. Well. <laughs> Damn. Yes, I would take the blame for a crime my wife committed. No. She may sound like any- Would I take the fall for a crime Brooke committed? It depends what crime. Like, speeding? Yeah. Murder? No. Like, 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 bro, I'm not, like, if she killed somebody, I'm not gonna be like, yeah, good shit, I'm gonna take the 25 years in prison for you. No, like, I'm not, like, you know what I mean? Like, it depends. Like, oh yeah, speeding ticket, whatever. You know, a little car crash, whatever. Something like that. But, like, tax evasion, bro, even then. But, like, murder, like a 25-year sentence? No. Like, uh, bro, you're kidding me. Crime. She's not taking that blame. <laughs> I don't think that's accurate. I don't think she would say that. That's a risk he would have knowingly taken on upon himself. So then Somebody said, gotta keep streaming. <laughs> as long as I have a laptop. They need to take the downfall probably wouldn't have been part of the plan. You've never but stolen a pack of gum. No, I've never stolen anything ever. I've never stolen anything. Maybe like, maybe like I've, I've grabbed a pack of, uh, or, or like a piece of gum out of my friend's pack. But like, I have never stolen anything from a store ever, ever from a store. No, no, ever. No, never have never wanted to. No, there was one time where I accidentally walked out without paying for it. And then I walked back in and paid for it. Like, I don't... Pussy, you're a pussy. Uh, or I just don't want to steal. 
you're a pussy. Yeah, and Walmart has a recording of you stealing those fucking M&Ms from six years ago. You didn't, you're not slick, buddy. They have you on camera. They're just not going to report you because Walmart has billions of dollars stolen every fucking year. They have you on camera. You're not slick. When you're sitting there and you're scratching your head in the Walmart aisle and you're in that puffy ass hoodie and you go, and you slip that shit in your pocket, they see you do that. They have you on camera. You're not slick, right? You you have you, you they see that you that you walked out with that shit. They're just not going to arrest you cuz there's no fucking point, right? You stole $10 of shit. Why the fuck would they go through that to to fucking arrest you? Scarcore for the three inch bets. You stole my heart show with Riz. Publix for the three inch bets. Uh to which is a superhero is the Munch Man. Probably Wazzy for the sub. Uh, and Mr. Yo-Yo says get a buzz cut. Chat, would I look weird with a buzz cut? And Zenji for the sub. And Cyber for the sub. If the justice I would look system- weird with a buzz cut. I don't even know what I would look like with a buzz cut. Oh my god. All right. Hold up. My manager texted me. Un momento. Un momento. All right, there we go. Lorenzo's for the five hundred bets. When do you when you get really big, do you think you'll shout out everyone who subs? Also, thanks for entertaining us. It is getting harder to shout out subs because I've been reading off more subs, but I try my best. No matter how big I get on Twitch, I don't really think I'll ever be like a 10K Andy. But no matter how big I get, I'll still try and shout out as many subs as I can. Just because I like thanking you guys if you're going to sub to me. Like, I'm not going to, like, I might miss some, but I'll, I'll try. system failed to punish someone who hurt your partner, would you take matters into your own hands? No. Really? What, what can you really do? Wait, what? Well, I probably wouldn't have been part of the plan. If the justice system failed to punish someone who hurt your partner, would you take matters into your own hands? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> like, like, I'm saying, like, like, what level of hurt? Like, piss them off? No. But, like, like, actually, like, harm, like, harassed or, like, beat them or so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no doubt. Oh, no doubt. Tiptoe for the three bets. You already look weird without a buzz cut. Fuck you. No. Really? What what can you really do? Like maybe write beat a the shit out of them. Like what? Instagram. Send them an email. If they're just that's it. If they <laughs> send them a tough worded email. They hurt your partner. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hurt anybody. Would you take matters into your own hands? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I would not take matters into my own hands because by doing that, I could be uh, imprisoned or worse. Someone's getting hurt. Yeah, or I would just make their life miserable. Is Bad. it ever okay to kill? No. In self-defense, I would say. Probably. No. Is it ever okay to kill? In self-defense, yes. SL for the three. How much to add IG on us on Instagram? No amount of money. I will never follow you on Instagram. Not trying to be a dick. It's parasocial. I don't know you. I'm not following you. I don't follow people for money. I've never followed people for money. I don't ever want to follow people for money. I'm just putting that out there right now. I already said it. So please donate. Do not donate money to me again. No matter how much money you give me, I will not follow you. So please do not try and sit here and say, I'm going to give you $100 to see if you follow me. I'm not going to follow you. I don't follow people for money. I will never follow people for money. I think it's parasocial. I think it's fucked up to get money to follow people. No. Just immediately shutting that down. Not trying to be a dick. Never doing that. Probably not. I don't think it's ever okay to kill. Yes, under certain circumstances. Well, it's, it's nuanced, right? A really bad person. When I started social media, like, I used to communicate more with, like, followers. But that was back when I was in high school. Like, now, no. Now people are parasocial. Now people perceive me as famous. I don't think I'm famous. Uh, I think I have clout. But when people perceive you as famous or people perceive you as having clout, they're weird to you. So, no. Uh, and even then, I don't want to follow people for money. Not following you. I respect uh, your, your question of asking me, but I do not follow people for money. June for the side of Hammy for the three inch bets. Two inches relatable. Uh, somebody said you're famous. You are famous. I don't think I am famous. I think I have clout, but that's about it. Yeah. What makes someone bad? 
who does evil things. So killing. You seem like a normal guy who does this as a job. Exactly. Can be okay. Oh my God, are the police out Like there? that's it. Like thank you. That's what it is. I'm a normal dude. This is my job. I entertain you guys. I don't. Fame is stupid. The idea of fame is, in my opinion, dumb as shit. There is no point of fame. Would you kill to protect your partner's life? No. So you'd let your partner die? Oh, that was a quick answer. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I would have to kill the other person, yeah. I think it's just morally wrong. I might punch them in their, their nuts, but... Why are you assuming it's a guy? <laughs> <laughs> Well, data shows. <laughs> Your husband kills someone, wants you to hide the body. What data shows? Body, do you do it? Nope, nope, absolutely not. What, that men kill people more than women? Is that just the broad data? Uh, that would make me an accessory, and if we both got caught, we'd both be very screwed. <laughs> I listen to enough true crime podcasts, I'm not doing it. Would you sacrifice one person so that 50 people could live? Oh. Uh... Would you sacrifice one person so 50 people could live? Like, I have, to, I have to kill a random person and then 50 people survive because of it? Who is that one person? And who are the 50 people, right? Like, if it's 50 serial killers I'm saving, no. If it's 50 random people and one random person, I don't know. I, I Like, again, a scenario I'd never be in. Probably. Yeah, if you're saving 50 lives, it's like the train problem. Mia for the thousand fucking biddies. They give the thousand biddies. Mia Cobb and CSAT for the three bits. Do you pay more attention to people that are sub rather than those that are not? No. When I read chats, I just read the text. I don't even really read who read it uh, until I actually read the chat itself usually. You have to choose to kill one of your viewers to save 50 people. Bro, see, that's nuts. Like, I don't even... I would kill all 51 of them and have more. What? 50 people could live. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I would. Yes, I would. Probably. Yes. I probably could save 50 people and kill the one person. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now that person you're sacrificing I is your husband. I knew you were going to ask that. <laughs> no. I no. I, like, uh, I'm saying... See that that's when they always do that. Would you kill a random person to save 50 ran to save 50 random people? Yeah. Would you kill somebody like your significant other or family member to save 50 random people? No. Cuz they matter more. They matter more to you. It's self it's selfish, but they matter more to you. It's not that's not a math problem right then. That's like that's your life. Like who matters to you? I don't think I could. Uh no, I wouldn't. You're saying his life is more valuable than 50 people. His life is worth the same as any other human's life. But from my perspective, his life is worth well, more than that. Well, guess what? The, that hypothetical 50 people are all children. <laughs> that don't change shit. That don't... That, they're just trying to get him to say... They, they just keep changing the hypothetical to be like, okay, yes, I'd kill my partner. Like, that, like, like bro... Then they're going to be like, okay, out of the 50 people, one of them would cure cancer. Like, like then you're just going to keep going down these scenarios of like, okay, out of the 50 people, all of them are going to change the world drastically. Like, okay, are you fucking kidding me? Now you're trying to get, now you're trying to make it to that point where you have to say yes. I mean, he's only 23, so... <laughs> I can't say yes. I think that would be the right thing to do. I don't think I could do it, though. I wouldn't want to, but I think he would be mad at me if I... I got whispered by this guy saying, tell Joe I'm sorry. Let's see what they said. Also, that's really weird that a chatter messaged you to try and get unbanned. They got timed out for a week. They just spammed. I don't even know why. Manifest timed them out. Ask Manifest why they got timed out. If I picked Dylan him over uh, 50 people. She would kill you because she thinks that's what you would want. Oh, no. I would want her to prioritize uh, <laughs> my life. <laughs> Bro, no damn way this is a six-minute video with a one-minute ad.
You are actually out of your fucking mind, dude. There's no way. Somebody said, Joe, I'm bored. Hold up, let me help you out. Hold up, let me help you out. See you later. Time to out for eight hours. Steph for the sub, C -Z uh, S -Z -A or S Z A for the sub. The new show accused. Oh, I was good. Oh my gosh, I was so intrigued. I was like, where is this going? What's gonna happen? What did he do? I like the premise, and I oh, like. Oh no, damn way! They're interviewing them about the show. This was the shortest video ever. Holy fucking shit! All right, next video. Asking NPCs why they hate Tate, dude. Why the fuck are people still making like? Andrew Tate esque bait videos, like trying to get views. Like, I feel like this is what I mean, this was two weeks ago, but I feel like the Andrew Tate shit was like what? Like July? Like, it's been a while. Like, it's been a fucking long time. Polly for the sub. Uh, DJ for the 300 bits. Help, we're not bored anymore. What? What is up, everyone? We're in a suburb of Boston. People still care about Tate. Well, he has a lot of drama with him right now because he's in prison. Uh, but this was before then. Boston's NPCville asking strangers what they think about Andrew Tate. Let's get into it. What are your thoughts on Andrew Tate? Um, I don't like him at all. Why? Because his, his opinions don't, like, I don't like, I just don't, I don't agree with him. What opinions? Um, ch cheating and everything, like that stuff. Also, my boyfriend believes in it, so I don't, I don't like it at your all. Your boyfriend rocks with Tate, but you don't? Yeah, he follows him on Instagram, so. I don't know about that one. Yeah, I don't understand that. Okay, like I'm not gonna diss people that like like Andrew Tate to that regard, but if you have a girlfriend and you're like an adamant supporter of Andrew Tate and everything that he says, Andrew Tate flat out says women are barely sentient. Like he he like has said that like like multiple times. Like like and your girlfriend like you have you're dating a woman. And they're, like, fine with that. Like, I, like, bro, I would be pissed if I was a girl. If I was a girl and my boyfriend, like, was in love with this guy, L. Joe. Uh, I, bro, I don't care. Like, I, I'm sharing my opinion here. You can share your fucking opinion. You can say L. Joe. I don't give a fuck. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, how you could sit there and be like, yeah, women have, have this, this stereotypical role. And they're, they're barely sentient all the shit. And you're... You're watching this guy say that, and you tell your girlfriend, yeah, I agree with everything he says. Like, you're basically degrading your girlfriend by, like, by flat out agreeing with that. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Miracle and Tway Tools for the sub, RJ for the sub, RJ for another sub, and Duckies for the sub, Polly for the sub. I agree with some of the stuff he says on a business standpoint, right? Like, Tate has very good business advice. But, like, this, like, like whenever he gets on the topic of women, like, he always just goes off track. I mean, yeah. I don't I don't like Andrew Tate. So because of the cheating stuff, is that the big thing or anything else? Yeah, I don't I don't know anything else about him, so Well hopefully your boyfriend doesn't cheat on you. At least she listed a reason. You know, a lot of the other ones have zero clue, but he does say men can cheat. A lot of the other ones have zero clue. A lot of the other ones uh just don't understand the Sigma mindset. I've been a part of the Tate Discord community for the last six months now. I have started day trading on Robin Hood. And I have currently upped my portfolio by 2.3%. So I am technically a Sigma male now. I'm thinking of pulling out a bank loan to join his Hustlers University war room. It only costs $4,000 and I have to pay for plane tickets to actually go see him as well. And he could kick me out at any time that he wants because he has full, uh, he has full dictatorship over me. However... I really do see the gravity of the situation as leading me towards becoming an alpha male. Cheating women can't, so. I guess like, bro. Like, I know, like, and for the people saying L, like, you could say L, Joe. Explain why it's an L. Explain why it's an L. Explain why it's an L. Please. Like, just explain why it's an L. You can say rare L, right? Like, because I know this is an L take that I have for some people, but, like, why is it an L? Like, you could say L and that, like, you fuck with Tate, but explain why. Right? Like, explain why. Rather than saying he's a top G, he's cool. Like, explain why. Like, like I don't... You know what I mean? Like, everybody always says, yeah, I fuck with Tate. Why? Like, why? Like, it, like you can explain why you don't. But, like, he has good statements. About what? 
like cite things that he says that are like great. You know what I mean? Like business wise. Yeah. Business wise. Yeah. Why do you have to pay for his fucking discord? Why do I got to pay $50 a month or $4,000 to join his war room? What advice is he giving me that I couldn't find on Google? Like, I don't get that. Like, because he's funny. Yeah, people like him because he's funny. And he pisses people off. Like, that's it. So you gotta give it to her there. I'm sure you guys have heard of him, but what are your thoughts on Andrew Tate? He's not a good person. Why? He just got arrested. I don't know about any of the shit with the arrest. Oh, so actually, he did get arrested when this happened. I don't know about any of the shit with him getting arrested or if that actually happened or not. I do think a lot of people will, like, shit on him in that regard without actually looking into it. And that's why I'm not going to comment on that because I don't know what's going on with him. But, like, dude, like, he, people overhype it because he just, he's a, he's a character. He's a caricature. That's, that's basically what it is. <gasps> If you can't see who donated, this is Bobat the Philanthropist. I love giving back to small streamers. Bro. Bobat. Well, I, it, your username did come up there. I don't know why it only comes up sometimes and not others, but... Holy shit! Bobat for the fucking hundred dollar dono! This is Bobat the Philanthropist. Holy shit! Thank you for the hundred dollar dono, bro. Dub in the chat for Bobat. And for the sub, Biggie for the sub, too. Mike for the three. I was at Camelback Lodge last week. Almost died. I met the worker who gripped your feet. Okay. Uh, he got falsely accused. Last time somebody falsely accused him of se uh, sex trafficking. Uh, when is the last time somebody... Oh, when is the last time somebody got accused? Oh. And Bobat for the fucking $100 dono. Holy shit. Think of the fucking $100 dono, bro. Dub in the chat for that. Think of the fucking 100 beans, bro. That's actually a big dono, dude. My God. So? Appreciate it, bro. Like, sex trafficking? Oh. No, 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 no. A real reason, a real reason. <laughs> That's the Matrix. You've heard it. You've watched the Matrix, right? I, he, could say, he could say that's the Matrix if it's proven false. But if he genuinely gets, like, convicted, like, you can't say, no, that's the Matrix. No. No, I'm not. Like, I don't know, though. I don't know if this is fake. I'm a, I, I, I would assume he's probably going to get out. I don't really know what's going at, on with it. I haven't looked into the evidence or anything of that sort. But he does have a lot of pool. I don't know the, the details of that. But. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, do, you do you disagree with, like, anything he said? You think I know everything he says? <laughs> No, I don't know. I'm asking you. I'm sure you guys have heard of him, but what are your thoughts on Andrew Tate? Fuck? I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> Why? Because he's. Why are they covering their face? Misogynistic piece of shit. What do you think? I just don't like him. He's just a bad person. I can't name anything specific, but I just don't like him. Like I just don't like his vibe and like his general personality. Do you think that's a problem that like the people that bullied me in high school? So I just don't like him. I love Andrew Tate. That's my boy. Oh no, dude! That's you just pissed boy. your girl off. Think of him. Yeah, I no, because here's a hit. Let me let me tell you something. People hate Andrew Tate, but they never give a real reason on why. Oh, yeah, because he says women are barely sentient. That is my reasoning, right? Yes, he gives good business advice. I think his business, I think his business advice is good. You don't need to pay for it, though. I think it's a scam in that regard. He's made millions of dollars off of his followers, and he uses hit. In his program, he gets them to promote him to therefore make affiliate code money off of getting other signups. It's a pyramid scheme. It's literally a pyramid scheme. That is why. That is why. Because when you join, part of the advice is to get signups so you can make a commission off the signups. That is a fucking pyramid scheme. That is the definition of a fucking pyramid scheme. That is a pyramid scheme. That's what it is. Oh my god. There's a new quarry, Joe. Did a new quarry come out? That is why. That and the women are barely sent to you thing. That's, that's the reasoning. I, I will say a lot of people have shitty reasonings as to why, but, like, that's my reasoning. I, I And I don't hate him, but, like, dude, he has awful takes sometimes. Terrible takes sometimes. Yeah, here and there he'll make a good take, and then a minute later he'll fucking switch it, and it'll be some whack shit. We used to watch his videos in the summer. He did it every fucking day. Hey, he's my or he's feminist. What has he actually said that says F women? Bro, like, it's because, it's like, he probably only watches TikTok clips of him.
like, like watch his videos. Like, watch his videos. Like, wa like go on an in-depth video. And yeah, on podcasts, he'll be like, yeah, I support women, all this shit. And then, he'll, and then immediately later, he'll say something else. Like, dude, he, just watch his videos. He never, Quite the opposite. Exactly what I'm saying, man. He's just mad because- Dude, and for the people saying L. Joe, like, you're allowed to have your own opinion, but, like, please explain why. You know what I mean? Like, please explain why. Like, L. Joe, L. Joe. Like, like, but, like, give a reasoning. You know what I mean? Like, I want to hear a reasoning. The reason why is it helps when you get in a better state with exercise, he also shows that women's jobs in the world is to help the generation go on. Also, he never said that women aren't people. Dude. Female are barely sentient. Female are barely sentient. And I have nothing against women as a whole. In fact, I have a bunch of women. Males. Let me get my wording correct here. What does sentient mean? Like cognizant. Like, like you have a conscience. Like you like cognizant, sentient. I'll literally Google the definition. Able to perceive or feel things. Like they're not real. <laughs> Female. That's why. Like, you see what I mean? Oh, he's never said that. Yes, he has. Like, I. That's what I don't. That's what I don't get. It's edited. No, it's not. I watched his actual video. And fucks up his brain. His now. video got taken down. When did I watch this? Six months ago. Wording correct here. They say you're mad racist. If you, I'll take. <sighs> Are barely <sighs> shit like this was on his channel. You're about to say something that's just mad racist. But females, let me get my wording correct here. <sighs> are barely sentient. Oh, but it's edited. Oh, but it's edited. He, it's not. It's, it's not a cut clip. It's edit. It's not edited. <laughs> it got taken down, and then people spliced it and shit, bro. That's what I mean. Like, that's what I mean, bro. Oh, no, but it's edited. It's not edited. It's it's on my YouTube channel. It's literally on my YouTube channel. That's what I'm saying. And bro, like, oh, my God. <laughs> bro, it's not edited. Like, I understand. Yes, he's not, he's not, like, being like, oh, yeah, w there's no reason women should be, like, there or anything. Like, he's not saying that. But, like, still. Like, that's just, like, why would you say that about women? Because he... Oh. I'm not even going to watch the rest of this video. I don't... I, like, because... It's going to be the same shit. Every time one of these YouTubers makes a video on why do you hate Andrew Tate, they just mock the reasoning and they only interview women and they'll be like, okay, well, he said sexist shit. And then this guy will say they're in the matrix. And then the video ends. Like, there's no point in me watching this. Cakey for the five gifted. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here from like a, a big Twitch streamer perspective and be like, oh, fuck Andrew Tate to try and get on a hype train or anything like that. But it's just like, bro. It, 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 he has good business advice. You shouldn't need to pay for it. And he does have shitty takes about women. Do I hate Andrew Tate? I don't hate Andrew Tate, okay? I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh my God, I'll beat the shit out of him. But like, he has shitty takes. He has terrible takes about women. He has good business advice. You don't need to pay for it. I think it's a pyramid scheme. That's my take. Kiki for the five uh, gifted jungle for the sub. RJ for the seven, Papa for the 5,000 fucking biddies, says my friend Caden is a pussy. What do you mean your friend Caden is a pussy? And thank you for the 5,000 biddies, big dub for that. Papa Jim's uncle for the 5,000 fucking biddies. Shave for the sub, we for the three inch bets. Not even El Jote has some good points, but please listen to his shit with a grain of salt. Don't wrap your whole life around it like K-pop stand Christ. I don't know, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not, you remember when, like, the whole Tate shit was going, like, in the summer, when he had, like, the hype? I would watch him, like, every other React day, like, once a week. I'm not gonna sit here and do a whole documentary on this man. I don't give a fuck enough to do that, right? But, 
Do I think he has shitty takes about women? Yeah. Do I think he said some sexist things? Yeah. Do I know anything about the human trafficking allegations? No. I'm not going to look into it because I don't know much about it. I don't even know where I would begin to look into that shit because there's no reason I should cover it, right? I'm not the person to cover it. Hassan is the person to cover it. That's his realm of shit. I'm a reactor. I'm not Hassan, right? But like, you can say L. Joe and that you support Tate. That's fine. It's your fucking life. But like, I gave my reasoning as to why I don't really support him in that regard. You guys really didn't give me a reasoning as to why you do support him when you say L. Joe. You could say L. Joe and then just say he's a Sigma male. He's funny. Okay. But like, somebody in my chat was like, oh no, he's never even said anything against women. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. It's just, he'll go back and be like, okay, well, it wasn't like that. Which is fine. He could say that he misworded it. But how do you really misword women are barely sentient? Like, you can't really misword that. That's what I'm saying. Shave for the sub, weave for the fringe bets. But I understand, like, I understand my chat's perspective for the people saying Al Joe. He is a very good businessman. I will give him that. Like, he knows what he's doing when he's talking about growing a business. He is a multimillionaire. He has good business advice from the snippets that I've seen from his Discord community. But is the shit needed to be paid for? No. You shouldn't need to pay $50 for it. That's my take. Can we move on now, chat? Cameron for the, th uh, the 300 bets. But uh, another thing. When I get on these touchy subjects, I'm not like another streamer where I'm going to not let you voice your opinion. You're allowed to voice your opinion in my chat, okay? I'm also allowed to shit on your opinion, okay? You're allowed to shit on my opinion. I'm allowed to shit on your opinion. I might get a little heated. You might get a little heated. At the end of the day, you're watching my content. We'll move on. That's how it is. From a political perspective, whatever, right? If you disagree with me politically, if you disagree with me about Tate, that's fucking fine, right? That's life, right? You have freedom. You're allowed to share your opinion, okay? Good shit, right? So for the people saying L. Joe, that's fine, okay? Like, I'm not pressed about it. Cameron for the 300 bets. I'm not trying to pick a side. He also talks about how women are the most precious thing in the universe. I understand that. But then immediately in the same video, he will switch sides. And he'll go back and forth. That's why it's confusing. But I understand that's, that's the side that people take. Mr. Yo-Yo for the 300 bets. X-Max for the 300 bets. Took your advice the other day. Broke up with my girlfriend, now ex-girlfriend. Also, I fuck with Tate's on some statements about sports and motivation, but not degrading females. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he does have some things that'll say that aren't crazy. But, like, some things will say are out of the whack. See shiz for the 500 bets. Did you play any sports in high school? I ran track. Scarcore for the 300 bets. Stupid for the 300 bets. The universe for the sub. All right. Carter for the 300 bets. Shock and Caden for the 300 bets. Big Glass for the 300 bets. You should watch Philosophy of Fight Club. I think I have one day. Hydra for the 300 bets. Gonna put it in Discord. Uh, you should react to the whole Tate and Piers Morgan interview. Jungle for the sub. Wall for the sub. Patty for the 300 bets. Can you react to the new Sidemen video? No. MC for the 300 bets. Why is America, Why is America bad at chess? Because they lost two towers. L joke. L joke. Carter for the fringe bets. I understand that's dark humor. I'm not going to ban you, but like L joke. Like that's, it, it wasn't really funny. Uh, Y'all are shitting on Joe for no reason when he has W takes. It's not that many people shitting on me. Dude, people can shit on me all they want for my takes. That's fine. Like I'm like, I, I, I like my chat to be able to share their opinion, right? When your opinion gets out of the whack or you say something racist or homophobic, yeah, you're probably going to get banned. But when it's on that, like, when it's on that stance where it's like, oh, I'm talking about something political or Tate or something about, like, finances or how I think it's a pyramid scheme, you're allowed to share your opinion. I'm not going to bitch at you. Gaby for the fringe bets. Next video. I changed my name every day. Another, uh, fucking My Story Animated or whatever this dumb shit is. Hi, I'm Shayla from Texas. Jesus Christ. What about Aiden Ross? What do you mean, what about Aiden Ross? I don't even watch Aiden Ross. Joe shits on my opinions all the time. Yeah, and you shit on mine too. We literally had a whole debate before too. And Hi, I'm Shayla from Texas, and I'm a child genius. Before I continue, please like and subscribe. I was Dude, I feel like that's already cocky bullshit to say you're a child genius. You know what I mean? ASAP for the sub. Even if you're like super smart, sitting there and being like, I'm a fucking genius. Like, okay, dickhead. Like, <laughs> like... Like, okay, dickhead, you learned how you learned how to do your fucking Algebra 1 two years before everybody else. Only six when I discovered... This is so loud. I was only six when I discovered I was what people called gifted. 
I was... See, that's so cocky. Oh my god, like, shut the fuck up. I, I was only six when I found out I was basically superhuman. Uh, and I had more talents than everybody else. At my friend's birthday party, and we were having a contest on who could solve a Rubik's Cube first. Well, I solved it in 19 seconds. Cap! Cap! I can- Bro, Cap! If you- Yo, you're a fucking liar! Like, that's not- Yo, you- What the fuck? 19 seconds. The inventor of the Rubik's Cube. It took him, like, a month to solve it, right? Because it's algorithms, right? You have to learn certain... It's not, it's not like you can just stare at it usually and just fucking solve it. Maybe some people can. When you're six, you might be pretty good at it. You're not going to solve it in 19 seconds. I can solve a Rubik's Cube in a minute. And two years ago, I spent a whole ass summer learning how to fucking solve one. Not a whole ass summer, like three weeks. Anyways... You do not know how to solve that shit in 19 seconds. You would be able to fucking compete at, uh, among world levels. 19 seconds. The world record's like four or some shit. Bradley for the sub. But those people practice. Six years old, you solve a Rubik's Cube in 19 seconds? Get the fuck out of here. Without an algorithm? It's almost impossible to solve one without an algorithm. Mommy, 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 she cheated. That's crazy. How could I cheat? You were watching me the whole time. Stop lying, Shayla. There's no way you could solve the Rubik's Cube that fast. Now go Girl probably peeled the stickers off and replaced them where they should be. If you have one of those shitty-ass Rubik's Cubes, you peel off the fucking stickers, put them back on. Now it's solved. Sit in the corner. But that's so unfair! I didn't want to play more party games after that because all the kids kept calling me a cheat. When I got home, I told my parents what happened, and a few days later... They had me tested, and it turned out I had an insanely high IQ, just like my mom, who was a respected neurologist. Cool, right? Well, no one fucking cares. No one fucking cares. Oh my god. Not exactly. I got moved up two grades, which meant I was the youngest in the class, and no one wanted to be friends with a little six-year-old who was every teacher's favorite. By the time I got to high school, I they felt- They were eight, and you were six. You're acting like you were in high school at, like, seven. You weren't a seven-year-old in high school. You weren't young Sheldon. You moved up two grades. You graduated your senior year at 16. That's not- That's not like nobody can even be your friend. I felt like a total outcast. One night in ninth grade, I was home alone, even though it was Valentine's Day. And tons of kids at school were out on dates. Knock, knock. I have a val- That has nothing to do with you being a, a, a fucking genius. <laughs> There's so many people that don't have Valentines. I didn't have a Valentine my entirety of high school. Like, what do you mean? Valentine's Day present for you, sweetie. Thanks. At least I have one Valentine tonight. Even if it is just my mom. Here, Cringe. open this box. I pulled out a bracelet with an infinity symbol on it. What's this? Shayla, people like you and I, we're not like everyone else. We're smarter and 10 times more special. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, somebody needs to humble you. Touch grass. Touch grass. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my God. Oh my, we're 10 times better. Are you fucking kidding me? You don't tell your kid that. That's just not, that's just ill preparing them for life. They're going to fucking be humbled when they get into the fucking job world. Dude, even if they are a genius. Those are those motherfuckers that are smart as hell. Yeah, they're, a, they're fucking geniuses. But then they never make it in life because they're just a dickhead to everybody. Because they think they're better than everybody else. Bradley and Z Smith with a sub. Carter from the 300 bits. I agree, but I feel like 2-inch would probably say I would let her stomp on his balls and... What? Gabby for the 300 bits. This is an infinity bracelet. And remember that nobody can hold you back from your potential. Do you understand? I... I think so. After that night with mom, I decided it was time to change my attitude and stop feeling sorry for myself. So for the first time during lunch, I decided to eat in the cafeteria with everyone else instead of alone in the janitor's closet. Then suddenly, as I was walking, a flyer hit me smack in the face. Greetings, miss. May I interest you in joining the most amazing club in all of Texas? The Humble Mathletes. 
Uh... Mathletes? What corny shit is that? Out of the bet, bro. Like, yeah, it's kind of cool if you're if you're smart as shit with math and you can solve math problems fast as shit. Don't act like that's the coolest club in the world, okay? Mathletes is the best club. Get the fuck out of here. All right. What are the mathletes? Ugh, ignore him. His name is Nolan, and he's the new kid. He's trying to recruit fellow dorks to compete in math tournaments across Texas. Well, I think math is fun. Sign me up. Cool. I don't usually allow younger kids on my team, but I'll make an exception. Ugh. I ended up joining Nolan's math team, and the two of us became friends. Nolan wasn't gifted the way I was, but he was still smart. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my... Bro, this is annoying as fuck. I would ne I feel like nobody would ever want to be her friend. And it's just like, it's like she's sitting here at the perspective of like, oh, I'm just smarter than everybody else. No, like you're just a dickhead. Like you're just, you're just an asshole. You just think you're better than everybody. That's why, that's why nobody wants to be your friend. It's not because you're smart or because you're fucking two years younger than, than, uh, than the other sophomores in your class. Yeah, it kind of makes it harder to be somebody's friend when you're younger than them. But still... Like, dude, you could still get by. You're just sitting there in the back of class, not talking to anybody. And when you do, you're cocky. Art and a really sweet guy. Fin Didn't we watch this? No, we watched a different animated one about some rich girl. Finally, the day of our state tournament arrived, and my mom called to tell me that she was coming. I can't believe it. My mom never takes a day off from work. Nolan, we have to win today. I really want to make her proud. I hope Go they fucking lose. I hope they fucking lose. I hope she answers the question that's just dead wrong. I'm down, girl. We're gonna crush this tournament. Nolan pulled me into a hug, and for some reason, it made my stomach do cartwheels. The competition went well, but in the final round, Nolan got two answers wrong, and that cost us the first place trophy. Oh well, second place it is then. How about we celebrate with milkshakes and an MSA marathon? I was about to agree when- An MSA marathon, a My Story animated it marathon. You might, you might be the first person that ever recommended that. You might be the first person that ever recommended that. Damn. Well, we just got done our math tournament. You wanna, you wanna watch My Story animated YouTube videos? What? When I saw Mom standing behind me with a very disappointed face, I excused myself to talk to her. Why were you so happy back there? You're not embarrassed that you got second place? Hey, second place is still really good. Ow, mom. Ow, mom. Ow, mom. Shayla, why are you friends with someone like Nolan? He's obviously not very bright. It's his fault you didn't win. Mom, don't talk that way. Damn, that's crazy how it's a team competition, you dumb fuck. That's crazy how it's a team competition. And sometimes your teammates do worse than you. Oh my god. It's almost as if that's how every sport or competition has ever worked in a team format. You have to help each other. Sometimes you do worse than your teammates. Oh, wow. That's life. Hey, Nolan is really smart, and we've become good friends. Suddenly, Mom took my wrist and started to unclasp the Infinity Bracelet. <gasps> what are you doing? I shouldn't have given this to you, Shayla. You don't seem to care much about unlocking your potential. I'll just have to live with the disappointment. No, stop. I do care. I'm Bro, there's no way this is a real story. There's no way this is a real story. If this is, this is the worst family ever. I'm gonna make things right. Just give me a chance. I ended up riding home with Dad without saying goodbye to Nolan. And the next day at school, I tried avoiding him until he showed up at my locker. Hey, sunshine. I thought we were gonna celebrate, but you left. Are you okay? Nolan, we can't be friends anymore. What? Nolan, you're too fucking stupid for me. Nolan, you're a bit of a cuck, okay? You're what we call in my family a munch, all right? Uh, but you're a stupid munch, right? You're a little fucking weasel munch, like a little weasel, like a little rat, like a New York City rat. You're worse than me. You're not better than me, Nolan. You're the reason we got second place. My mom took my infinity bracelet, Nolan, because of you. Why? You want me to be honest? Of course. You're not smart the way I am. You're average at best. And if we continue hanging out, you're just gonna- Bro, but like, they're portraying it as if she's like humble. And like this, and she's not like a, a dick for this shit. 
Like, this is, like, her just being a normal person. Like, this is her activating her potential by putting everybody down. Don't hold me back. I'm so sorry. I ran away before Nolan could answer, feeling horrible. Nolan didn't speak to me again after that, and I didn't blame him. Then two months later, my life took a turn. Mom was offered a research position in China. So, does that mean we're moving to China? No. Only I'm moving. Good shit. And I'm divorced. Good shit. Yeah, good shit. Yeah. To your father. Yeah, just... good shit. Yeah, split up the family. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Can't w have mom. anyone in my way. W mom at that point, bro. Right now. But don't worry. You and I will keep in touch. Mom kissed my cheek and tears filled my eyes. After mom left, I tried to keep busy and comfort dad who wasn't taking the divorce too well. One afternoon, I was sitting on the porch when I saw- I will say, I feel like being a child genius is kind of a curse. Because every, every person that I've ever met that was like a child genius or very smart at a young age usually gives up because they don't want to- I don't know why. I don't know if it's like a psychological thing, but everybody- Like, I know like three kids that were really smart. Like, they skipped grades. They were fucking geniuses. I don't know them anymore. But, like, one of them dropped out of high school and works at a pizza place. The other two got perfect scores on the SAT, went to one year of college, dropped out, and now they work at Walmart. Like, it's just, like, I don't know why. It's, like, they had so much. But I feel like it's just your potential is so high. And then it's it's just your gift is kind of, like, a curse in that aspect because you have to live with the fact that, like, not everything's too easy, but it's just kind of hard finding purpose. You don't really have to work for anything. I don't know. Like, I don't get it. But every, it's, it's just like every time I've ever seen somebody that's been a childhood genius, they usually end up giving up somewhere along the line. I saw a van pull into our driveway. A lady came out, and to my surprise, it was my first grade teacher. Mrs. Johnson? Is that you? Shayla? I haven't seen you since they pulled you out of my class to move you up two grades. Miss Johnson invited me to dinner that night, but while we were eating, she kept asking me if something was wrong, and I just couldn't hold it in. I told Miss Johnson all about mom leaving and how hard school was, and how much I missed Nolan. It you doesn't- crazy how I would never have dinner with my first grade teacher. Like, if- I... Bro, like, even- even- like, she- I know she's in high school in this story, but even then. Like, if I- like, when I was in, like, 10th grade, if my first grade teacher was like, yeah, do you want to go get dinner? No. Like, no. I barely remember you. How old are you in first grade? Like, seven? <laughs> like, eight? You're not fucking remembering that shit. Matter, though. Literally, all I remember in first grade is coloring. That's it. Look at XQC's stream. Look at... Wait. X, X. Come here, come here, I'm gonna show you a trick with the bike, it's funny as fuck. Okay, come here. Come here, come here. Go off a corner, like this, right here. Like, is it me? Go off <laughs> the like side. Why, why, why? I don't see you. You're just playing Roblox. What do you, what, what do you want me to look at? Bobat for the 300 bits. I'm not even the cat. My parents were so hard on me throughout my life. Always held such a high expectation for me. Even now in college, hence why I take cybersecurity as a major, though I do enjoy it. I think having, like, parents that are hard on you is good, but not to the point where it becomes demotivating or depressing. Juice for the 500 bets. What's up, Joe? I'm late again. Also, I fell asleep at 3 in the afternoon, woke up at 8 at night. Holy shit. Mess for the 300 bets. Sorry, Nolan, but you could have used native deodorant, L. Carter for the 300 bets. Uh, sorry, I don't know so much. This is my last. Why are you apologizing for donating? This is my last one for a while. She's so cringe. L mom doesn't understand life. L uh, in the chat. W Joe W chat W stream. Fact. Missed for the sub. We for the fringe bets. This depicts the girl. This girl went in reality sitting in AP classes. There's probably two people like this. And the rest of the people, they're like me and just average, but just learn at a faster pace. Yeah, I don't know about like, I don't think you could be a genius to the effect where you just know everything. You're just better at learning. You learn easier. That's what a genius is. Wow, for the 300 bets. Just wanted to say, because of you, I started working out, hit a PR of 200 today. Duh, Boba for the 300 bets. I was an athlete, don't shit on me. I'm not saying it's a shitty club. I'm saying it's definitely not the best club, though. It's not that fun. NL for the sub, Z Smith for the sub. All right. Twist for the 300 bets. Would you ever play Roblox in the future? I don't know. 
I just need to focus on myself and my goals. <laughs> I remember I was just like you, Shayla. My grades and my dreams meant everything to me. But I realized... Yeah, but then you became a first grade teacher. Dumbass. My mom said I'm ten times smarter than you. You're a first grade fucking teacher. You teach, you teach one plus one. Idiot. Over time, that part of success is also about being happy. No offense, but that sounds like a cheesy quote you'd read on Instagram. Maybe, but it's true. Try doing at least one thing that makes you happy this week, sweetheart. I was exhausted from finals. Math. And then I went to a corner drugstore and bought uh, and got some free crack pellets from my local drug dealer. Twist for the 300 bets. That week, I decided to take Miss Johnson's advice. I went to the community pool to sunbathe when I tripped over a crack in the sidewalk. Whoa, easy. Oh, thanks. At that moment, I realized the lifeguard was Daryl, the most popular guy in school. I uh, usually save people from water, not concrete. You look familiar. I feel like I know you from somewhere. What's your name? I was about to tell him, but then I paused. Boys like Daryl usually never talk to me, and I wanted to start off on the right foot. I'm Cher. I'm Cher, like the singer. <laughs> and you're pretty like her, too. I'm having a party tonight. How about you be my date? Whoa, did he just... Bro ain't even know her. Bro literally just met her. Knows nothing about her other than her name. Wants a date for the party. Holy shit. Ask me out? Of course, I said yes. And that night, I got super dolled up for the party and even bought a new dress. The party was so much fun, and I danced with Daryl for hours. They played, they played the cha-cha slide three times. It was so lit. They even played, they even played the cha-cha slide on remix, dude. Oh my god. And when I saw the other kids at school there, I told them I changed my name because, well, I had a chance to be a new me. At one point, I had to go to the bathroom, but I opened the wrong door, which apparently was a bedroom. Oh my God, what are you doing in my room? Nolan? I, this is Daryl's house. Yeah, and my mom and I moved in here two weeks ago. Daryl's my cousin. Oh, I didn't know that. Of course you didn't. Daryl doesn't want to be associated Why with- Why is she on his bed? Nerds, how did you get invited here anyway? Actually, I'm not a nerd anymore. I've decided to change. Also, my name isn't Shayla anymore. It's Cher. Cher? Yeah. So, if you could call me that from now on... No, I don't have the time or energy for this. Go back to the party, will you? And don't walk by my room again. No one slammed the door in my this face. This is the dumbest fucking story I've ever fucking seen in my entire life, dude. Oh my god. Who the fuck cares? And I felt bad. But I really didn't want to deal with the drama at the moment. I just wanted to have fun. A week later, Daryl and I started dating. I asked everyone to start calling me Cher instead of Shayla, and just like that, I became popular. I started dressing differently, and I didn't wear my infinity bracelet anymore. One day at school, the teacher handed back last week's physics exam, and even though I hadn't studied as much, I got 100. I was grinning to myself during recess when Daryl took the paper out of my hand. What you got there, babe? Whoa, you got a hundred on a physics test? What are you, some kind of computer bot? No, my brain just works a little differently than other people. Like a little Miss Smarty Pants? Wait, are you one of those nerds who thinks she's better who than- Who the fuck would bully somebody for getting a good grade? And like, in what world is that actually gonna- Oh, you got a hundred on the test? Are you fucking nerd? Are you fucking loser? What? the rest of us just because she can memorize a few extra facts i thought you were cool i am cool you know what it was just dumb luck that i got full marks who <laughs> i thought we might it is not luck to get a hundred on a physics test if you try and the, the one subject you cannot guess on is physics if you try to guess in a physics exam dude it's like a 10-step thing to arrive at one answer if you guess at all you you immediately fail like, you're not fucking getting that. I'd have to break up. <laughs> Daryl and his friends made it clear they hated nerds. So for the next few weeks, I purposely failed all of my tests and didn't do any homework, which they all high-fived me for. The end of the semester that school- That makes no sense. This, like, 
This is like that Disney high school, like, Nickelodeon-esque portrayal of how high school actually is. Like, who the fuck would purposely fail and then high-five each other that they failed? Like, why would you be happy about that? Like, there's some people that fail. Like, in reality, yeah, there's a lot of high schoolers that fail and just don't give a shit. But, like, not caring versus being happy that you failed, like, that makes no sense. Why would you need, why would you be glad that you got a fucking 30 on an exam? Party came around, and the theme was game night. Daryl and his friends just wanted to play foosball and table tennis, but I couldn't help being distracted by a bunch of kids playing trivia. What is a five-pointed star called in geometry? Time's ticking away, guys. This a star. What is a five-pointed star in geometry? A star. What? What? Is that, is that, is that actually a question? A five-point is a pentagram? Oh my god. This is a crucial round. Anyone in the room who knows what the answer is? Somebody said a rhombus. Oh god. Why would anyone know that, loser face? Can you stop ruining the party and have you- Oh, fine. Oh, bro, you deadass just said a rhombus. Oh my god. Bro. Oh, juice box for the fringe bits. Did you see my bits? If you, if you read them, I missed. I got an ad. I clicked off. I might. Uh, oh yeah, I already read that. I did the one about you getting up. Uh, Bobad for the fringe bits. Oh, I already read that. Twist for the sub or twist for the fringe bits. Sun for the fringe bits. What's your pre-workout drink? I don't drink pre-workout. The only drink I actually drink that has caffeine in it is G Fuel and sometimes coffee. Doggo for the sub. Dandy for the fringe bits. Hey man, I'm new to gaming. Do you have any recommendations? Bro, I've played so many fucking games, it's insane. I think story-based games are pretty good, if you want to get into that. If you're playing multiplayer, Val's pretty good. Chat, what are good game recommendations? Just if you're new to gaming. Minecraft, miss for the fringe bets. Uh, not only do you save 30% off with uh, code Joby at e Fuel, it also makes you 30% smarter. That might be false advertising. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Choose for the fringe bets. Uh, I did read your bets, though. Speaking of. I will crack a G. Uh, don't play Roblox. For the people that, uh, for the kid that asked for game recommendations in my chat saying Roblox, uh, that's a shitty game recommendation. They're, they're leading you down the wrong path. Uh, Ro Roblox is not a good game. Do not play Roblox. What flavor? Blueberry muffins again. Have your geekathon somewhere else? I knew the answer, but of course I stayed quiet. But and Valorant is the right path? Yes. Yes. It, bro, Valorant is an objectively better game than Roblox. If you're going to sit here and say you would rather play Roblox than Valorant, a competitive FPS shooter, versus Roblox, a game where you fucking do, like, shitty Fortnite dances and it's an off-brand Minecraft. Wasn't having any fun with my friends either. Dear Valorant makes you depressed, though. Yeah, but it also builds character. Valorant builds character. When you've been hard stuck gold for fucking 10 years, and, and then you solo queue and lose three games in a row, it makes you question your life, right? It's like a philosophical questioning game. Girl was busy with the boys, and the girls kept commenting how my dress wasn't flattering and how my- Red for the 500 bets. Roblox is not a game, it's a lifestyle. Oh God, somebody redeemed flex. Pink lipstick wasn't a good color on me. Can you stop criticizing me already? At least I don't, um, have her outfit. That's nah. really hideous. The girl I'd pointed at turned around, and suddenly, I- Nah! Pulling the fucking, pulling the fucking shit off you and fucking bullying somebody else to get everybody else off your back? Nah! Bro, that's dickhead energy. I felt really guilty. Why had I said that? That's pussy shit, literally. If you're getting bullied and, you, and you're going to go down the path of making fun of somebody to not get made fun of anymore, make fun of the person that's making fun of you. Bro, 
Like, if you're getting made fun of, don't be like, oh, yeah, but they're shittier. Say, the kid that's making fun of you, start making fun of them. Just do a reverse. Like, the reverse Uno card. Yeah, but your teeth are crooked. Or some shit like that. Like, if somebody's gonna make fun of your appearance, what the fuck? Just then, Nolan came and took the girl's hand. Leave my date alone. Oh, she looks... Oh, it's Nolan's girl. ...beautiful tonight. Oh, she's your date? Yup. She joined the mathletes right after you left. Nolan put his arm around the girl, and I tried to push the feeling- I bet she's not as smart as me, though. I bet she doesn't have the brain capacity as me, though. My mom's a neuroscientist. My mom's a neurosurgeon. She's in China right now doing neurosurgery. She's smarter than you. My dad could beat up your dad. I had a way. Was it jealousy? The party sucked, and I decided to go home early. But when I arrived, Dad called me into the living room and said Mom was on a video call and wanted to talk to me urgently. Shayla, is that really you? I've never seen you wear so much makeup. It's not that much makeup. I was just at a party. Oh, I see. Partying on a school night? Well, that would explain the email I got from your principal today. Calling me in for a meeting to discuss your grades. You've been failing your classes? Um, yeah. I didn't do so well in a few tests, but I can make up for it. Really? Because your principal said that if you fail even one more exam, they'll put you on academic probation. Can you imagine how I felt reading that? Wait. <gasps> what the fuck is academic probation? What even is that? I don't I don't know what the fuck that is. Baby for the sub crispy for the three bets. I made you an islander on Toma Tomadachi life. What the fuck is that? Red for the five hundred bets. What is academic? You can't play sports. She doesn't even play sports. That's what I thought it was because I actually knew, dude. When I ran, when I ran track, there was this one kid that couldn't run track because he was on academic probation. But like, she doesn't even play sports. Who the fuck cares? If you don't play a sport, you're on academic probation. Oh no. Where's your it does nothing. Slit. Well, it doesn't match with the new clothes I wear now. What? I gave. Somebody said it means you can't go to school anymore. That's definitely not what it means. You're doing so bad, so we're going to kick you out of school. No. OLG for the sub. You that bracelet because I wanted to inspire- Somebody said send her to breakout 13. Oh, God. I are you to live up to your limitless potential, but instead, you've turned out to be a complete disappointment. You know what, Mom? I'm not a little girl anymore. I don't need a stupid bracelet to remind me what I'm capable of. Just like I don't need your validation to feel good about myself. This is the first time you've called me in weeks. I'm your daughter. There's more to me than good grades. Baby Blue for the three fucking gifteds. Thank you, ba uh, Baby Blue Samurai for the fucking three gifted subs. You Big don't time. value me the way I value you. I'm done trying to make our relationship work. As I ran outside my front yard, I said- It's like a warning before getting kicked out. Dude, you won't get kicked out. If you start mega failing, right? Like you have a zero. You're just going to get held back. They're not going to kick you out of school because you're doing bad. That's imp th They would never do that. If you're failing classes, they might kick you out of the class and you have to retake it. They're not going to kick you out of school. They're not going to be like, you're too stupid. We're going to expel you. That's not what they do. They might send you to different classes. Like some, like most public schools have a separate segregated public school for people that like are failing, failing. Like that's a thing. But, like, they're not going to kick you out, kick you out. They're still going to let you graduate eventually. OLG for the 300 bets. Can you reread? Can you read my sub message? Uh, oh, seven months sub is dub. I don't really talk as much. But when I do, uh, I send bets. I don't know if you remember me. Don't call me OLG. Call me Juju. Oh, the second part of your name. All right. And thank you for the fucking bets and the sub. I only heard a familiar voice. Haven't seen you around in a while. In oh. college, it means you have credit restrictions. I That's in college. When you're paying to attend and you have to apply, that's different. In college, they could kick you the fuck out whenever they want to. But in high school, no. Hey, Miss Johnson, you look lovely tonight. Did you meet a nice boy? <laughs> oh, is that why you haven't been stopping by? I don't know what happened then, but suddenly I ran to Miss Johnson and burst into tears. She hugged me as I told her everything about mom, the bracelet, how Nolan replaced me. Dude, in college, if you fucking plagiarize, they'll expel you. That, that's, how, that's how strict college is. 
every fucking syllabus on all of my college classes. Like, I started my first week of college last week. Every syllabus, they have a long paragraph section. Fucking plagiarism, and you're sent to the academic office, and you're expelled. Like, if you fucking copy somebody's essay, they, they kick you out of school. They either kick you out, or they give you a zero on the assignment, and then you're on probation. Like, they, they, um, dude, they, oh, well, yeah, they'll fuck you. If, in college, dude, if you fucking, if you plagiarize, they'll screw you over. Immediately. And how I turned into a superficial bimbo. Oh, Shayla. Don't talk about yourself that Because a high school diploma is just, like, a signification that you graduated high school, obviously, and that you're ready for, the, like, the world. But college is a segmented degree indicating that you're ready for a certain profession, right? So if you're cheating, that means you're not ready. That means you, you, you don't actually have what it needs to be in that profession, which means they'll kick you out. Uh, DRG for the three bits. I go to a Christian school right now. It's closer to me. They're very strict. If you get academic probation, you can't play any sports. Yeah, that's how it was for mine. It's a warning, but if it keeps happening, they'll expel you. Yeah, if you miss 15 days over the year and aren't sick, they can uh, make you repeat a grade. Yeah. Uh, in my school, they'd kick you out for cheating. They'd kick you out for drug. Dude, my, I, my senior year in high school, there was a kid. He got caught with a dab cart. He got expelled that day. That day, went to that school, went to that school for four years, got expelled. It's going to be on his record. So then he probably wouldn't get accepted to most colleges. Because when you apply to college, if you have an expelled record, it's going to show up. You have to say that you've been expelled from high school uh, and that you would go to a different one. I think I know what the problem is. You do? Yes. First, you tried being who your mom wanted you to be. That's why then being expelled from a school is like, it's like a death sentence. Because, like, it's on your record. That's why, like, some high schools, if they expel you, they'll be nice. They'll ask you to leave. Right? That's the difference. Some high, school, some high schools will be really nice, and they'll be like, hey, you're going to leave, or we're going to expel you. Right? So they'll give you the option. Then you tried being who the kids at school thought you should be. You've tried to be everything except yourself. Miss Johnson's words struck a chord in me. I thought about them all weekend, and on Monday, I pulled- Somebody said I got suspended for having a dab cart last semester. I'm in eighth grade. Don't smoke weed. You're too young. When you're 21, it's legal in your state. Whatever, right? Dude, you're in eighth grade. You should not be smoking weed. That could literally stunt your brain growth. Like, like weed is safer than alcohol in a lot of ways, and like I've ranted about that. But if you're in eighth grade, you are way too fucking young to be smoking weed, bro. Way too young to be smoking weed. Fucking eat ice cream. Fucking play sports. Uh, get into Valorant or some shit. Get, get a fucking dopium increase from that. Don't be smoking weed, bro. You're too young. Doubt the infinity bracelet, but this time it meant something different to me. I wasn't letting anyone hold me back, and I had to start by making things right with Nolan. Hey, I know it's been a minute, but I'd love to be a mathlete again if you'll have me. Hmm. Let me think. No. Good Nolan, shit. please. I've changed. I don't want to be a stuck-up jerk anymore. I'll apologize to your girlfriend for mocking her outfit, too. Firstly, she's not my girlfriend. She was just my date that night. And secondly, you're a fake. And I just can't take that person seriously. Cher. Just Damn. then, Daryl walked over to us. Hey, babe. Want to go with me to a concert tonight? Ugh. Why are you talking to him? Because Nolan's my friend. I'm really not. You I do find it hilarious, though, when, like, I'm waiting for this, too. You know how, like, every high school kind of has, like, the really popular dickheads? Those people, like, usually, it, like, flip-flops in the real world, right? Like, when you're, like, when you're, like, the Sigma Chad that fails all the classes and you're popular as shit in high school, and then you get into the real world, and then the 10-year high school reunion kicks, and then they're working at McDonald's. And, like, the nerds that they bullied now are, like, multimillionaires. Like, I think that shit's hilarious. Like, it's not always that way, right? Like, a lot of the time, like, they will become successful even if they are a dickhead and they're popular or whatever. But, like, I do think it's funny when, like, a nerd that got bullied, like, surpasses on, like, exponential levels the bully that they, that they got bullied from. At one point, we were on the mathletes together. The mathletes? That's a club for losers. You're better than that. Come on, let's go. Daryl started to pull me away, but something inside me snapped. No, I'm staying here with Nolan. 
And he's not a loser. He's your cousin, and maybe it's time you start treating him. Bro, dude, like, uh, yo, I feel like this this one kid in my chat just said, in my sister's middle school, kids sell weed, vapes, etc. What's worse is the kids receive those drugs from their guardians telling them to sell them. Dude, what, I even in high school, I sold candy. What the fuck? Dude, and I graduated in 2020. Why are people saying that something snapped just inside of me? Bro, what are y'all talking about? Anyways, I sold candy, bro. Like, y'all, bro, y'all talking about middle school motherfuckers selling drugs? Dude, when I was in eighth grade, there was a kid that asked me to smoke weed. And I was like, no. But, like, that was the only scenario I ever had where somebody ever mentioned, like, drugs. And, oh, no, that was in seventh grade. But still, dude, like, what the fuck? Like, I knew drugs, like, yeah, in high school, bro, I knew kids that were doing coke and, and shit, like, in the bathroom, blah, blah, whatever, right? But, like, bro, even in high school, I sold, I sold fucking airheads, like, at, uh, like, to kids, or ring pops. Like, dude, I was 16. I was 16. I got a business going on that. I made, like, 100 bucks in a week. But, like, bro, no. Motherfucker selling weed in, like, sixth grade? Jesus. Why are y'all saying something snapped inside of me? Did I miss something in the video? Come on, let's go. Daryl started to pull me away, but something inside me snapped. No. Then something just snapped. Something, something inside, inside of me. I didn't, I didn't care, care anymore. anymore. I, I didn't, didn't care, care about being better than the Tiger Rock. Rock. I didn't, I didn't care, care about being the Super Saiyan. I didn't, I didn't care, care how I lived. I, I didn't, didn't care, care about anything. And then it happened. No, I'm staying here with Nolan, and he's not a loser. He's your cousin, and maybe it's time you start treating him with the respect Damn, he, he called his cousin a loser? Damn, that's fucked. I forgot they were cousins. Serves. I should have treated him better, too. Aw, that's a cute speech. But if you want to be my girlfriend, you can't hang out with my dork cousin or join the mathlete's share. Isn't it obvious that I don't want to be your girlfriend anymore? I feel pathetic that I dumbed myself down to fit in. I'm a nerd and proud to be one. And just for the record... I know what a five-point star is called in geometry. It's a decagon, and I'm going What? Bro, what? I, that doesn't have five. Yo, I might be a dot. Yo, clearly I'm not a child genius. What the fuck? It I know what a five-point star is called in geometry. It's a decagon. That has so many damn points. Am I, yo, chat, am I, am I making sense here? That shit has like 10 fucking sides. What do you mean? What do you mean it's a decagon? Bro, a star has five points. Am I stupid? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. What do you mean? It's a pentagram. Yeah. Pentagram. A pentagram is a star. Uh, a five-pointed polygon. What the fuck is she talking about? A decagram? Damn. She might have. She might have been hitting those off-brand Mario carts. And I'm going back. Stunned her brain growth. <laughs> Dashing for the sub. Hit those fucking Rick and Morty carts in the bathroom. The ones that are like green sludge. Back to being Shayla. I marched off like a boss, pulling Nolan behind me. You know, maybe you can rejoin the athletes. We are one team member short, and there's a tournament coming up. Oh my god, you mean I can be on your team again? And you forgive me? Oh, Nolan, thank you! Hey, I didn't say I forgive you, but I do need your brain for the competition. I'm not exactly smart the way you are. Nolan, I'm sorry for saying that. The pressure to succeed turned me into a toxic person. The truth is, I think you're smarter than me. I don't have a quarter of your emotional intelligence. That's nice of you to say. Emotional intelligence, bitch. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, emotional. Yo, I don't think you're smart. I, I think you're way smarter than me. You know, you handle your emotions well. Oh my God. That's like, a, that's like a backhanded compliment. That's a diss, dude. 
Holy shit. Thanks. Nolan hugged me and I felt my stomach doing cartwheels again. Maybe one day he could be more than a friend. I found my friend. Dude, what are these videos? I feel like all of these My Story animators are just fake I've fucking been doing stories. Some new oh god, not a Darman video again. Or Samir Bhavnani. I'm Ada Lovelace, the mother of computers. No one knows I'm a spy. I become became the boss of the house. My mom is in love with Louis Vuitton. Dude, what the fuck? I'm Karate Girl. Bro, I gotta add that one. That one's about to be dumb as shit. I met Mr. Beast. <laughs> Yo, we gotta watch that one one day. I met Mr. Beast. Yeah, let's see how fake that fucking story is. I met Mr. Beast. Cap. Fucking cap. There's a new Sidemen video. Bro, Sidemen videos are, are good as shit, right? Like, I'm not gonna diss Sidemen videos, but Sidemen videos are Dude. bad react videos because I can't really say much about them. Like, dude, and this is 50, 52 minutes. You want me to watch an hour-long Kai Sinat video with fucking Sidemen? Dude, this is about to be fucking three hours after I fucking stop talking about it, dude. Oh, my God. I'll clear, I'll do, like, Hi. a little sneak, uh, sneak peek. <laughs> Are you level? Are you level? Oh, he's so short. I'm not, okay, I'm not gonna, de yo, I love Kai, bro. I'm not gonna, de I'm not gonna diss him, bro. But he's like, he's like a short king, bro. He's like a short king. <laughs> You're shorter, bro. He's like five four. You're a bully. I'm not a bully, bro. Motherfuckers say I'm four two. I'm not. It's not bad that he's short, right? It's just like noticeable. How uh, <laughs> was this on violin? Right. It yeah. fits him now. All right, it fits him. RJ for the fucking three gifted. Big dubs for that. Easton for the three hundred bets. Stars have 10 points. The points go inward. What? Rubix for the 300 bets. This is my second stream. I've been watching you on YouTube all week. Dub, sold for the 300 bets. Got expelled my junior year for something I shouldn't have been expelled with, but I got close to a 3.0 GPA on a scale 1 out of 10. How fucked am I for college? You're not fucked. Dude, I, what I mean by saying it fucks you for college is like if you want to go to like high level colleges, right? Like if you've been expelled from, uh, from a high school, you can still go to a nice college. Right, but you're not gonna get into Harvard. Like you're not gonna get into Harvard. You're not gonna get into uh, fucking Penn or not Penn State, uh, U Penn or any of those. Right, but like realistically, here's another Joe Bart take here. Ivy League schools over fucking rated, dude. No one gives a shit. No one gives a fuck. Right. Like I understand the education and the degree is very useful in the sense of getting your first job. And it's like, it, it, you, you kind of are among the elite and, and very rich and you have really good connections and shit. But like, I see so many TikToks, even when I was like graduating my senior year in 2020, so many kids like, like, dude, begging you at uh, like, uh, USC to let them in, begging Harvard to let them in and being like so happy when they got waitlisted. And then going in, like, second semester, right? They got waitlisted. They get to go spring semester as a freshman. So they're going to graduate a semester late. And they're happy about that. No scholarship either. Like, dude, you're going to be paying out of pocket, what, 70 grand a year? Like, how much is USC? Like, dude, I literally knew a kid that was happy about that. USC tuition. USC is $61,503 per year tuition and fees not covering room and board like you're bugging dude like you're gonna the average american makes 35 grand a year you're gonna be paying almost double that for one year at usc no scholarship right like granted most people get scholarships that go there but when you're getting waste waitlisted second semester you're paying out of pocket and you're gonna be paying 61k for four years that's nuts dude like, take advantage of, like, the grants and the scholarships and, and community college if you need to, right? College in America, and this is my advice, because I'm in college. College in America is very expensive, comparable to Europe, right? Or Asia, or anywhere, right? College in, or Australia. Australia, they'll send you to college for free sometimes. But, like, dude, college in America, absurdly expensive, right? But you gotta realize, you gotta realize that 
Why are people saying W-E, though? You got to realize that, like, you can go to college for cheap. You could go to a community college for two years for free, transfer to a state school. You're probably going to be paying eight, ten grand, but that's only for two years, right? You're going to be paying 20K. You might need to take a loan out, but paying a 20K loan back, not that hard comparable to a $240,000 loan, right? Paying a quarter million dollars back, paying $20,000 back. And hey, even if you want to go all four years to a, a, a nice state school, you get a good scholarship, a good grant, a nice Pell Grant or something, you could get a part-time job and pay that off. Evo's in Europe? Yeah, dub, dude. G college in Europe, way cheaper, dude. The books are are like the big the big expense in Europe for a lot of the time. Soul for the thousand biddies. Been an avid viewer for close for a year and a half. Now still one of my favorite content creators. Dub, I'm glad you still like my content. Yet another reason to move to Sweden. Dude, I really want a house in Switzerland. Switzerland's mad expensive to live in, by the way. They also have, like, the highest fucking earnings per year, too. That's kind of why. But, like, dude. Oh, my God. Swiss I, would, I would kill to live in Switzerland. Like, let me just show y'all a picture, bro. Like, a mountain house in Switzerland? Holy fucking shit. Like, I, like, I want to be rich enough to be able to buy this. Like, dude. Oh my God. Like I, like, dude, the day I leave this earth and I'm dead forever, I want to be like here. You know what I mean? Like, I, like, like just look like for like the last 20 years of my life, I just want to be able to sit on a porch and just look over the mountains, you know, and then die. Like, and then, and then just, that's probably like 10 mil. Oh yeah. No, I would settle. F I, oh yeah. No chat. I, I know I ain't going to be able to get enough money for that. Hi. For forking enough money to be able to live on that probably too much but you know what i mean like a nice mountain house i'd live in i'd live in one that's that's a little worse than that like maybe this one right like this one's probably like this one's probably like 500k right but i'd live here i'd live here this is not, this is as nice it's not as nice of a house but holy shit this is still fucking amazing look at that xzd for the sub like that shit would be crazy all right next video Henny for the sub. Man pays $15,000 to look and live like a dog. All right, uh, of course, Richard Southern joins us to chat about some of the dates. What if a big bad wolf comes uh, to my house and tries to kill me? Uh, I'll shotgun it in the face. Like what? These most interesting stories. And Richard, this first story pretty much cements it. Some people have way too much money to play with. Yeah, it has to do with love of dogs, and we've well established your love of dogs. You love your dog. Yes, I, infinite love. I don't. You do. I don't think your love of dogs. Yo, yo, like city newscasters are NPCs. No lie. No fucking lie. Like this is the worst conversation I've ever had. People watch this. Like, holy shit. Extends to anything like this. Erica, a Japanese man, has spent $15,000 to buy a dog costume. What we're looking at is him what? in a dog costume. Yes. Oh, Okay. He, there's That's a, person a human in there. being in there. Okay. That's a person in there, okay? Uh, so much does he love dogs uh, that he spent... <laughs> he spent $15,700. Uh, a, a TV costume company specially designed this costume for the dude to walk around in and, make, you know, put his paw up and... Oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> not surprisingly, some people on his YouTube channel where he posted this found it rather creepy. One person said, quote, this is like a car accident, disturbing, but you can't stop looking. I would have to concur, I think. I mean, I'm okay. Bro, that literally looks like what a skinwalker would be. Like, it kind of looks like a dog, but something's just off. How does he even fit his fucking hands in there? Like, I feel like his arms would be, like, scrunched up. With just, you know, having my dog to hang out with and play with, I don't need to be a dog. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, of all the things you can do, I don't think that's harming anyone, but um, I'm not going to be buying a, uh, a dog costume anytime soon. Whatever makes him happy. Okay. They're trying so hard to not be offensive. They're trying so hard to just be nice. Sure. <laughs> how smart? How smart is the average American? A couple of new surveys tried to answer that question, Richard. Would you say you're smarter than the average person, Eric? I'll put you on the spot. No, I wouldn't say that. No? no. Would y'all say you're smarter than the average person? Now I want to ask my chat this. The average American or the average person? Yeah, I would say yeah. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't think I'm a genius in any stance. 
But like, dude, walking on the street chat, come on. Walking on the street and you're just like, kind of like strolling like, and you witness just like daily life. You're like, oh my God. Like, wow. Like people, like, especially those interviews. Have you ever seen those interviews YouTubers do? Just like interviewing people on the street for like common knowledge. Not even just common knowledge, like political knowledge, base shit, like math, anything. And they get it dead wrong. Like stupid wrong. Like not even like close answers. Like that, like that makes me think, oh my God, like the average American, like I don't think I'm a genius, but I just don't think the average person is as smart as people think they are. Goofy for the sub. <laughs> <laughs> I question ever the that. humble, ever the humble, Erica. <laughs> Listen, a lot of Americans do, okay? They did a big survey in the States, and 65% uh, of Americans said they're smarter uh, than the average individual, okay? So they asked, like, thousands... Well, so that means most people aren't in this, in this skew. ...of people, and 65% agreed with the statement, quote, I am more intelligent than the average person. 20% <laughs> strongly agreed. 45% said they mostly agreed. Men... But what deems intelligence? ...were much more likely than women to say they were super smart, as were those making more than 80000 a year. Hmm. Younger people were more likely than older people to say that they felt they should be in a Mensa meeting. People think very highly of their intelligence. Yeah, I guess it, you know, it's nice to be confident, sure. I don't think I'm a genius at all. But, like, bro, like, just watching those YouTube videos of people, like, getting shit dead. I mean, maybe they're just getting the bottom of the crop, right? For those YouTube videos, just asking people, like, what's two plus two? And they get it fucking wrong. Okay. Sure, I mean, they can't uh, miss with three inch bets. I don't think I'm smarter. Uh, I know I am because I invested in the OG Joe Bart beanie. You have the OG Joe Bart beanie, the infinity one. Super, like, really super intelligent, like I am. <laughs> you know, they... All right, I'm done with this video. That got off topic. I thought it was just going to be the dog. All right, next. My girlfriend identifies as a cat. I have always been different. I just always had a fascination with cats. People are like, oh, you're not really a cat. I'm like, I feel like I really am though. I am a cat. I've never had anything so much on the, on the kitten side uh, of dressing up in past relationships. I get the negative stuff. It's just not accepted to a lot of people. I think Rob and Cat as a couple, um, I don't know. Today, we're gonna actually try me licking into the bowl like a normal cat would. I'm really excited about it. Okay, got some milk for you. Mainly, my whole signature look is the cat eye, the black. It just started when I was in high school. I have always been different. Um, I've always been into cats. I mean, that's where my name came from. I was uh, bullied a lot for wearing the ears and just being a nerd. So I kind of kept it a little bit hidden. I'm kind of a geek myself. Love science Damn, fiction. he got that fucking PC. Also, Buddy's got the fucking 40-inch monitor. Jesus Christ, how are you going to play a video game on that? He's left? Oh, I don't know where left is. Hold up. Fiction, fantasy, basic Doctor Strange. It's Doctor Strange. <laughs> so here's some of my Jon Snow stuff. I call myself old Jon Snow sometimes, so <laughs> an older version of Jon Snow. But this one needs a little touch up. I've never had anything uh, so much on the, on the kitten side uh, of dressing up in past relationships. Hey, go ahead. I don't know who's <laughs> going first. Are you? You go ahead. No, you go first. Okay, go first. I'm Rob. Um, I'm a retired army colonel and now uh, do various pursuits, including uh, artwork and cosplay. I'm Kat and I'm a model. The struggle of being a cat girl is keeping your ears up perfectly. <laughs> This is not just dress up for me. It's an everyday thing for when me. When somebody says their job is a model, like what, like if she's a cat model, what is she getting hired for? You know what I mean? Like when you're a model, you get hired to promote things. 
your body is used as kind of a marketing sense, right? You don't just pose for photos. Maybe in a magazine or something, but you're usually wearing a bathing suit that they're marketing or clothing that they're marketing. Like, is this for like a cat food commercial? Like, how the fuck do you, how the fuck do you model as a cat? When I first got into a pet play, I just felt a sense of home. It was just me. The tail is challenging sometimes, especially the heavier the tail, the more materials on the tail, the heavier it's gonna be. I have my whole cat outfit on, so I'm ready for the day now. Pet play was uh, something new to me that Cat introduced me to. I was willing to be experimental and try new things. Bro, you ever hear that story? Bro, I don't know who told me this story. I feel like I saw it on TikTok. You ever hear that? Uh, bro, it's like this story about... <laughs> Damn, it might have been one of my friends. It's this story about, like, this girl that was wearing, like, basically a cat tail. And, like, walking down the road. And, like, you know how normally it's, like, a pin-on thing? Well, somebody yanked it. And it made a pop sound. And it was a plug. It wasn't a... It wasn't a tail. It was a... Like, they, they yoinked it out. But it, like, un... Like, it went... And then they went, oh, my God. <laughs> Like, did y'all hear that? I feel like, dude, I feel like I saw that on fucking TikTok. That might have been one of my friend's stories. I don't know where I heard that, but I know that's happened. So, I swear I've heard that. That's what I'm saying. I feel like I feel like I've seen that somewhere. Was going to do that. That's why question. whenever I see cat tails, I'm like, oh god, it like reminds me of that. The the cuteness of the whole kitten thing. <laughs> Some of us have uh, sirs, our masters. Here's one of my leashes. Bro, and then you're walking around with it just there? Like, how is that comfortable? Master bought this for me. It's kind of heavy, but I really, really like Did it. just say her master The master bar. side of it, uh, not as comfortable with. The more dominant role. I behave most of the time, so I don't need the leash a lot of the times, but it's also fun to just play around and have them hold the other end and pull on it when it's on my uh, collar. Today, we're going to actually try... Bro, this is like a kink. Like, this ain't even... Like, that's that's the kink part of it. That ain't even... That ain't even just like a daily thing. Hey, uh, me licking into the bowl like a normal cat would. We are always open to trying new things. I'm really excited about doing this because that's another part of the whole like regular like kitten stuff. You're just licking water out of a bowl. Why is this like a whole planned out activity? You could do this at any time. Being on a table and just licking through it, I just think that it's fun. Okay, I got some milk for you. I'm gonna feed you some pastry. Wow. This is a hard watch. Mm. This is really a hard watch. You're being so shy. <laughs> what's what's insane though is our tongues aren't meant for lapping up water, right? Like that's like we're not built for that. Like have you ever seen a dog or a cat's tongue? Like it curves like a bowl and their tongues are thin. Like a dog's tongue a, a dog's tongue can literally get into like the shape of a spoon. We can't do that. Like, you could do, like, but, like, very, like you can't stick your tongue out and do that. Oh, she looks good on the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's real cute. <laughs> it's absurdly well, inefficient. Kind of <laughs> that's fun for me. Like, this she is not stuck her tongue to in you? it one time. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of old, so <laughs> I've seen a lot of things in my life. <laughs> As a geeky person, you're always doing things that other people look at. I don't want to watch this anymore. I'm done. This is a, this is an impossible watch. This is an impossible watch. I really can't watch it. I'll fast forward a little bit. Yep, nothing interesting. Yeah, I'm done with that. Yeah, we're moving on there. That was impossible. That was really bad. Oh, my God. All right. Orphy for the 300 bets. I'm going to be so dead honest. This is kind of creepy. If my dad saw that, he would question his existence. Jam for the sub and David for the 300 bets. Love your streams going back to college. Thing. My middle school costs 38k. Who the fuck pays to go to a middle school? Your middle school costs 30 grand for a middle school? 
it's middle school. Like, I know they have private middle schools, but most private middle schools are, what, like, 5K? Like, they're cheap. Well, I mean, not cheap, but, like, five grand is cheap comparable to 38K. Fuck. Dude, that's more than most colleges. My God. All right, trying death row inmates' last meals, people versus food. This is what I'm talking about. Ooh, he gives me the heebie-jeebies. What do you think of death <laughs> row felons in their last meals? What do I think about that? That's a loaded question. I love these. I love these. So today we're going to be trying and rating the last meals of some infamous criminals. Okay. On death row. So if they're not all killers, I'm kind of curious what other things they've done that are so bad. Wesley Allen Dodge. Yeah, what can you get? What can you get killed for other than murder? You can't go on death row. I mean, like, way back, nowadays, you gotta be, like, you gotta murder, like, 30 people to go on death row. They do it way less. But what could you go on death, weed? You ain't going on death row for weed. What, what can you go on death row for? The death penalty can be imposed on people who have committed murder, treason, genocide, killing, kidnapping of a congressman, the president, or of a supreme justice. Kidnapping a congressman? Kidnapping a congressman is a death sentence? Really? Like Bernie Sanders or some shit? I mean, like, yeah, that's like a prison sentence. Death? They get death for that? CSAP for the 300 bits. I could do three taco tongues. It looks like a clover. What? A thing? I can't do it. No. I know what you mean, though. He's kind of serving. Like, I don't want to say that because I don't know what he's done yet. Swanky mustache there. Wesley Allen Dodd was both a sex offender and serial killer. Mm, never mind. <laughs> he began his sex offenses at the age of 13, molesting several children over the course of his life. Oh my God. However, that proclivity turned violent in his late 20s when he both sexually assaulted and murdered three young boys. He kept a thorough diary with all his exploits as well as graphic photos and was quickly convicted and sentenced to death. Good. <laughs> Good. Pretty curious as to what his last meal would be. Hey, yo. For his last meal. Salmon, asking... broiled salmon and fried potatoes. Not a bad meal. I don't know what I would pick though. What would y'all pick? You're on death row. Actually, I know exactly what I'm what I'm gonna pick. All right. <clears throat> Here's my death row meal, chat. Are you guys ready? Starting off, we have a chocolate milkshake, a cherry. I'm gonna go drinks first. Chocolate milkshake, cherry coke, and a Dr. P. Okay. Then I'm gonna go a 10 piece chicken nugget meal from McDonald's. Ten chicken wings with. Um, so maybe honey barbecue sauce, depending on how I'm feeling that specific day. I'm going to go a whole rotisserie chicken, okay? Lemon pepper seasoning on that chicken. Then I'm going to go for a filet seasoned with some good, you know, just old-fashioned steak seasoning, cooked medium rare. Then I'm going to go for some baby red potatoes, some green beans with bacon, some Sour Patch Kids. What else? What else would I eat? A whole, a whole regular breakfast, right? So like eggs, sausage, bacon, pancakes, maybe some French toast. Is that too much? Am I asking for too much? Do you think they would deny that? A Reese's cup, one Reese's cup though, you know, just for the taste. A pretzel, one pretzel. Not too many. Pre one pretzel. One singular pretzel that I would eat with the Reese's cup. Then I don't really know. What would you guys eat? What would you got? There's a $50 limit. A $50 limit? They only let me get a $50 limit? Oh, my God. All right. Changing it up. I'm going to go Texas Roadhouse Bloomin' Onion. <laughs> I'm going to go Texas Roadhouse Bloomin' Onion, right? But only give me half of it at half price, okay? Because I don't want the whole thing. Then I'm going to go a steak from Texas Roadhouse as well, right? Seasoned by them, whatever. What Wagyu steak. You ain't getting a damn Wagyu steak for 50 bucks. Then I'm going to go steak, bloomin' onion, baby red potatoes, milkshake, cherry Coke, Dr. Pepper, 
toasted raviolis and sushi. Done. I switched it up. Oh, my God, the chicken wings. I'm going to have chicken wings as well. I Even if I can only get three chicken wings, three to four chicken wings under the $50 limit, I'm going to go that. I think I went over 50 bucks and a rotisserie chicken, you know, tack on the side. I'll pitch in the money for that rotisserie chicken. Dave in for the 300 bets. My school's annoying. My parents spend all the money, all this money, and I don't even like it. Five of my siblings also went there. They're just throwing money away. You can tell them you don't want to go there. Wazi for the 300 bets. That would be the worst G Fuel ad ever. What would be the worst G Fuel ad ever? Goblin for the 300 bets. Two inch would have a platter of shit. Yeah, probably. J Boy for the sub frost for the 500 bets. Uh, and Tiptoe for the 300 bets. In Indiana, we have a hibachi place called Kabutos. I usually eat everything so fast before the next thing's ready. Yo, nah, I would go to Sakura. I would go to Sakura. I would get the fried rice, steak, chicken, yum yum sauce, shrimp. Boom, done. I don't even need anything else. I'll just eat that shit. The broiled salmon and fried potatoes. I don't know what I would eat. I, I would have to be pondering on that for a long time. Where he was hanged. Okay, I can't hate this. I do like salmon. Power to you, Wesley. In this particular environment, not in the, you know, whatever. I love salmon, though, so I will, I will be enjoying this. This is a trip. I'm like, I'm just looking at this last meal. You know what? I feel wrong eating this. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to eat. You know what I mean, though? Like, they always talk about last meals. If I know I'm going to get executed, like, eight hours from then, I ain't going to be hungry, bitch. I'm not going to be eating. Eight hours for it? Bro, give me a PB and J at that point. Give me an Uncrustables. You're going to fucking murder me in eight hours. I'm not going to be hungry. Luke for the sub. <laughs> How would you rate this and why? Uh, I'm going to give this, like, a seven. I'll give it a seven because I personally It's not a bad it. meal. Like, I would eat that for a regular dinner. Last meal I'd ever have, though? No potatoes and salmon it's it's good could be better it makes sense it's a bit on the basic side salmon's good i'll give it a five i give it a five i give it a five yeah wesley gets a zero though why does he look like he just ate a lemon andrew chan was not a serial <laughs> killer or murderer Oh. He was an Australian man who was part of the Bali Nine, an international drug trafficking operation that smuggled heroin out of Indonesia. He was executed by firing squad after all of his appeals. Firing squad? Bro, that's like the fucking worst. What? Bro, I don't know. Like, if I gotta, if I gotta get executed, would I want them to inject me with some needle so I'd fall asleep? Or would I want to get shot? I feel like that's a quicker death. That's the most painful. No, it's not. You instantly die. A firing squad, dude, it's one bullet. They shoot you in the head. I'm pretty sure. A firing squad, only one person has the bullet. And eight people shoot. All seven are blanks but one person, so nobody has to deal with the guilt of who killed them. Or something like that. I don't know for sure, though. The electric chair, that would be the worst way to go. The electric chair, fuck that for clemency were dismissed by the Indonesian president who had a very hard line position against Oh, they shoot drugs. you in the chest? People well, either way. People don't the death penalty for, like, way worse. Okay, Andrew! That's what I'm talking about! For his last meal, he Damn, requested- that's literally KFC. Yo, I'm sorry, bro. I like KFC. I ain't picking that shit as my last damn meal. A fucking KFC? Did KFC- Nah, the KFC with a corn, too? No. Oh my gosh. You know, this is my first time having KFC. Oh, that's good. There's some there's something about picking up a KFC leg and just getting into it. Oh, it's so good. This is happiness on a plate. I'm getting this KFC tonight. That that just made me want to get KFC tonight. Now that pissed me off. Oh my god. Now I need to get, now I need to go get KFC, bro. Cheese. Kind of like childhood. Don't be pretentious. Don't get salmon, you know? It's very filling. Very enjoyable. It's a staple. Give it a four. It's an okay meal. I grew up on KFC. This is a 10 out of 10. Go a little more elaborate. 10 out of 10? Bro, you rating that you rating that shit fucking better than salmon and potatoes? A good cooked meal? No. Final answer, 8 out of 10. Okay, so there are things I would like more. So I'm going to give this like a five. An eight. Because this is the first person who's asked for fast food so far. Later. Salmon and potatoes. I'm going to rate like an eight. Fucking KFC, I'll rate a seven. Ladies, come on, girl boss. Wrong situation. She's giving me I Love Lucy vibes. Like 50s 
old Hollywood movie star, Barbara Bloody Babs Graham. Okay, first off, the name. I will give her this, like, her name kind of slays. Barbara Bloody Babs. No, these are the worst commentators ever. Get me on this fucking show. Get me on this fucking YouTube video, bro. Oh my God. Bro, literally sitting there. It looks like he's eating a lemon. Graham was caught up in a high profile robbery gone terribly wrong. In addition to beating an elderly widow who was later found dead, not finding No, but her name slays though. Barbara Graham. Barbara Bloody Graham. Yo, her name slays though. She beat somebody to death? Slay, queen. Slay, queen, do you? Supposed money or jewels at the crime scene. She also tried to bribe an undercover cop to be her alibi. Damn. Her last words were, good people are always so sure they're right. She has a point. I mean, isn't that just people in general? Okay, this is a big dessert. Ooh. Yo! Ice cream, though? Yo! That might be a fire choice. That might be a fire choice. A milkshake and an ice cream sundae? That might fucking slap. For the last meal, I feel like I'd be able to eat that. That might be the only thing I'd be able to eat if I'm about to get executed. A fucking ice cream sundae. <laughs> For her last meal, she went out with decadence, a milkshake, and a chocolate sundae. I love dessert. I'm like a huge I wouldn't eat, I wouldn't eat, I wouldn't be able to eat both though. Chocolate sundae and a milkshake, I'd shit my pants. Milkshakes. I'm not even lactose intolerant. I know I'd shit my pants. You even got the maraschino cherries. This feels like a like a bit of an overkill, but in some weird way it fits. You got the same thing twice in about a 30 minute time span. I like this one. I like bloody babs. Somebody said, Joe, you sound like the basic white girls at my school. In what way? Like, what did I say? That's overkill on the ice cream? Yeah, literally. Bro, I would fly. You gotta at least switch it up. Maybe ice cream is something else. Definitely hit. I love this for her. Don't like her. They ain't give him Just a Just ice cream and milkshake feels a little bit lackluster to me. I would give this a five because I'm a huge dessert oh, fan. Oh, five? Ten. What the fuck are you rating at 10? 10 out of 10. Can't go wrong with uh, ice cream and milkshake. Huge dessert fan. It only gets like a 50, 50, like a failing score. What? I'd give it like a six only because... I know that for me- That's not a 10. I would rate that shit like an eight and a half. I couldn't finish this. I, I really can't tell if it's just because like, I'm really in the mood for this right now, but like, I give it a nine out of 10. Personally, an ice cream person, I'm going to give this a six. Ooh, no way Sam and Potatoes got the worst. Me. Oh yeah, he murdered a whole fucking family. This kid, this kid killed everybody. There's something about his eyes that are a little creepy to me. I don't like his face already. Francis Tugan Crowley was a bank robber, car thief, and murderer who, after a three-month crime spree, was finally captured. Bro, I, like, if, if I had to be any sort of criminal in any time era, I would be a bank robber in the fucking, like, 30s. Being a bank robber, like, during, like, the Wild West or, like, even, like, 1930s, it like, from the 1800s to early 1900s, robbing a bank was damn near the easiest thing you could ever do. You walked in with a gun, you pointed the gun at somebody, you said, hand me the money, they handed you the money, and you walked out. And that was it. Nobody ever knew who you were, nobody ever found it, there was no tracing of money. Dude, you literally just snatched that shit and left. And that was it. It was so quick. Everybody had weapons, bro. It was too easy to rob a bank in like in like the fucking early 1900s. In a two-hour shootout, he was executed by electric chair in 1932. He Yikes. was only 19 at the time. 19? But he got electrocuted at 19? He was a kid. So we got robbery, thievery, murder, two-hour shootout. Whoa. Oh, Ew. Oh. Ew. This is what I'm talking Ew. about now. His last meal request was highly specific. Steak and onions, french fries, apple pie, ice cream, and- That ice cream looks fucking shit, though. That ice cream looks bad. I'm not eating that fucking apple pie. Uh, melted ice cream. Of all of this, that part don't make no sense. Okay, come on, creativity. This, so this is melted ice cream. This is what I call the last meal. You can order a meal and dessert. Did the other people know that? Grandpa on a Sunday, I feel like. Okay, this guy's making good choices now. The melted ice cream, though. 
I'm mad. That's actually really nice. That just seems so sociopathic. Creativity on this Why one? Why melted ice cream? Do y'all like melted ice cream? That shit's whack. It's just like thick milk. It's not good. Super fun. And this man is clinically insane. You ready for me to make you hate him? <sighs> I guess. While he was robbing and attempting to murder one guy, he was thwarted by that guy's dog, Trixie. But That's of great. course, he shot the dog on his way out. Bro killed the dog? Bro, that's just disrespectful. You didn't even need to do that. You could have just left that fucking dog. Just shot it for no reason. To the electric chair. Number one rule. Don't shoot the dog. Fact. Bring him back from the electric chair, like revive him, and then electrocute him again. Also, he murdered many yeah. people. <laughs> yeah, but dogs. No, forget the people. He killed the dog. Fact. <laughs> <Did not> <laughs> Zero Bro killed a dog. Bro killed a dog. That's the most disrespectful shit ever. I don't care. I'd give this a solid nine. You actually got a full last meal. You did you did everything. So I gotta give this a 10 out of 10. This is the most complete meal. I'd give this a six because there's a lot of variety here. On the scale of psychopath, I give it like a 10, but like food wise, I'm gonna give this a Imagine one. someone just says a bag of hot Cheetos. They gotta get somebody new. Cause that's definitely like new. Bro, because they still execute people in the United States. Like, very, very infrequently comparative to how they used to. But, like, someone, someone's just requested, like, a bag of tortilla chips. or some, Yeah, they still kill people in the U.S. Somebody said they do? Yes. Is the death, sent is the death pendle penalty in the U.S. still? Not in some states, but yeah. Capital punishment has been abolished in 23 states. 27 states still kill people in the U.S. Yes. It's very infrequent, though. If you get put on death row, you'll be on death row for, like, 15 years before you get killed. Garrison for the thousand biddies. How was your day, Joe? Good. How was yours? Uh, and Derry for the three inch bets. Love the forest. What's your opinion on the forest? What favorite type of forest? My dream is to live in a cat. I don't have... I don't really have the specifics on a favorite type of forest or anything like that. Cosmic for the three inch bets. My birthday today. Happy birthday. Having an end day. Have... I have had an end day. I've watched your content for a while. Genuinely love the content. Thank you. You should make a VOD channel. I'm probably going to make a second uh, channel for, like, gaming and other shit soon. Uh, but probably not going to make a VOD channel soon. Tiptoe for the 300 bets. Uh, Grizzle for the 315. Last bits of money. I don't know to my favorite streamer. Thank you. Olio for the sub. I'm not for the sub. Owen for the sub. He look, it's crazy because he looks like a very distinguished man. I have no idea what sir isaac newton looks like but if you told me this man was him i would believe yo i'm kind of done with this video chat can we move on because like they're really boring like they're really like they're really boring and they're quiet too like i feel like they gotta like speak the fuck up like i got out of the video when i wanted to get out i said my death row meal you guys said yours it was fun to see at least a little bit of it but i feel like that video could have been fucking a million times better all right Next, inside the $8 billion mega yachts. Yachts are quite common. Jesus Christ, that's loud. Mega yachts are quite common amongst the rich and alongside jets and mansions. Watch horror videos? We have horror videos after this. They are one of the biggest signifiers of their status to the rest of the world. Mega yachts are luxurious vessels with a professional crew with dimensions ranging from 79 feet up to 500 feet in length. I They're think genuine mega yachts are the biggest waste of money. Mega yachts is if you, if you have fuck, the definition of fuck you money is when you could buy a mega yacht. When you could buy a 90 foot yacht with five bedrooms, you just have fuck you money. You don't need money anymore because it's useless, right? Like, when you have a mega yacht, most people that own them go on them, like, what, two months out of the year? They might use them pretty frequently, but they're very expensive to upkeep. You have to have a crew, a captain. You can't drive that shit yourself. And, you, and the rooms are never full. You might go on with, like, four people. You have, like, ten bedrooms. What the fuck is the point of it? 
There are a lot of expensive yachts out there, and we're going to be looking at the top five. But even as we speak, now more than ever before, the ultra-rich are spending a lot on the construction of more of these luxury vessels. Sam Tucker is the head of super yacht research at Vessels Value, a leading vessel valuation company. When asked, he had a few things to say about the mega yacht market from 2020. The market's been roaring. Demand for extravagantly high-end yachts has outstripped supply, and it's impossible to get a slot in a new build yard. They're totally booked. In other words, 2020 was a great year to be rich or to be a mega yacht manufacturer. Every year's a great year to be rich. What? Uh, uh, 2020 was a great year to be rich, like every other year. Having money is never a bad thing. Why would that ever be bad? Any rich person who owns a yacht would want for the ride to be just the way they pronounce yacht, with the C silent. And this is something they take into their own hands with the exotic features and designs they implement. See, like, that one's cool. But, like, genuine, like, this is a four-story fucking yacht. Why the fuck do you need this? on these seafaring vessels. So in this video, we'll be looking at the five people who have splurged the most cash on their journey across the seven seas. But first, welcome back to our channel. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon. Like and subscribe for seven years of luck. So you never miss a video from us. Number five, Dubai, $400 million. In 1995. <laughs> That's a fucking cruise ship. That's a fu that's not even a yacht. Night bro, like that has probably 90 bedrooms. What are you what are you bringing every person you've ever met on that shit? Blom and Voss in collaboration with Lurson began the project of building this Bro, that is so fucking big. Where do you even dock that? Like say you want to go somewhere. Say, "Oh yeah, I'm going to the Bahamas." Where the fuck? Okay, now now we're on land. Oh, I want to go dock and go to this restaurant. You have to have another boat in your yacht. To, to dock really far away in the middle of the ocean and then fucking get on a tinier boat and maybe even a tinier boat in that tiny boat to get to fucking land. Oh my God. Fuel alone, dude. You're spending fucking three mil a year. Ship for Have the to be. Of Brunei, Prince Jeffrey. However, he didn't go through with the construction so that by 2001, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the ruler of the Emirate of Dubai. That is so long of a name. Oh my God. That I would not, I would not be able to remember that. Dubai would have taken over and completed the project. This was the largest yacht from 2006 to 2009 with a length of 530 feet and a beam of 72 feet. It has since been replaced as the biggest boy on the seven seas by the Eclipse and the Azam in that order. However, it still boasts some of the greatest luxuries that one can experience within its eight decks that can provide space for 88 crew members and 115 guests. Guests are pretty even know who to invite if you gave me that yacht you okay we're, we're going on a trip invite 115 people bro i i got max like what 15 20 people i could be like hey you want to come like what do you uh, yo, I, yeah literally ran yeah chat literally my chat invite random chat members at that point bro i ain't know that many fucking people to a 10 meter swimming pool, a squash court, a cinema, 20 water bikes, a disco, a Who the fuck needs 20 water bikes? A live lobster tank? Lobster tank and a pristine dining room that seats. Bro, this is, uh, this is literally a cruise ship. A pristine dining room. What the fuck? You're gonna get dressed up to go eat dinner at your own fucking yacht? up to 90 guests. The ship also has a helipad and two long motorboats, and the four MTU-20V diesel engines will yeet all this luxury across the open seas at a speed of 26 knots and Wait, a distance- how many engines? Also has a helipad and two long motorboats, and the four MTU-20V diesel engines will yeet all- Four diesel engines? They're fucking huge, dude. Look at that. That's one of them. All this luxury across the open seas at a speed of 26 knots and a distance of up to 8,500 nautical miles at a go. Number four, MYA plus, 520. Okay, like $527 million, bro. Like you, uh, you, uh, you plan for that purchase. Like how do you have that much money? The average American makes $1.9 million in their whole life and then they die. Like, this is, like, the, the combined net worth of, like, literally 250 average Americans to be able to buy this. And then the upkeep of it, you're spending millions per year.
$27 million. When it comes to mega yachts, the Emirati are the leading customers in the market. They own at least half of the most expensive super yachts in the world. And the A Plus at $527 million is one of them. It is owned by Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the owner of the top English soccer club Manchester City. He's worth $22 billion. He's the $22 billion, bro. Like, I, I, bro, and that's not even a dent of his money. That's not even a dent of his money. $537 million. Bro, that's like him buying a car. You're bugging. Literally, I, I understand buying a yacht. Like, yeah, yachts are cool. If I was fucking super rich, I'd buy a million dollar yacht, $2 million yacht. But like, you don't need that. Like, even if I had 22 bill, I'd be like, okay, this is kind of stupid that I'm getting this big of a yacht. The Deputy Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates and a member of the Abu Dhabi Royal Family. The A-plus is 482 oh feet long God. and has a beam standing at 70 feet. However, the vessel is still able to move its massive weight across the ocean at a service speed of 22.9 knots and a maximum speed over 25 knots. This speed comes from the twin peel stick engines that generate 7,990 horsepower each. Each. A plus, formerly called. Dude, a car has like 300 horsepower. Like, average. Called Topaz is currently the ninth largest yacht in the world, despite being launched in 2012. It has eight decks with a swimming platform and a swimming pool, double helicopter landing. You're in the ocean! Jump in the water! Like, I get a hot, a swimming pool. I get a hot tub. Uh, you're in the ocean! Jump in the water! pads, a jacuzzi, a fitness hall, a conference room, cinema, tender garage, and underwater garage! Jacuzzi, a fitness hall, a conference room, cinema, tender garage, and under... What is a tender garage? Does he mean a car garage? Like, uh, like for cars? Like, why would you have a car on your yacht? Water lights. The rooms are large and clad in luxury designs, and the crew and staff take care of Sheikh Mansour and any guest with the best culinary and hospitality treatments. Number three, Azam. $605 million. This mega yacht is owned by Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Hmm, bin Zayed Al Nahyan, sound familiar? That's right, Sheikh Khalifa is the half-brother of Sheikh Mansour. And as the head of the ruling family of the UAE, Sheikh Khalifa is also the chairman of the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, which Dude, can- Dude, what is their life like? Like, they're royalty and they're so fucking rich. Like, what do they do for fun? Like, they have so much money, and they own everything. Like, I know they can do anything, ever, like, at any time they want. I feel like I would eventually be like, bro, I'm bored. Like, like I feel like I would eventually I'd be like, dude, I've done everything. You could literally do everything in an entire lifetime at that point. Like, what the fuck? All right, hold up. This kid's spamming boring. L chatter. L Chatter, banned you from my chat. Now you don't got to watch anymore. See you later. We're full for the sub. Z, uh, tie for the 300 bets. Once you get rich, it's easy to stay rich. Yeah, well, your wealth grows exponentially. It's, yeah, like you, compounding interest, even if you're making the same interest as somebody that's not as rich as you, your interest on a million dollars, 10% on 10 mil, is way more than 10% on 100,000. Smexy for the sub. Big fish for the sub. And big fish for the another thousand biddies. If you had money to get a giant mega yacht and still be rich, would you? A mega yacht? No. But like a regular yacht? Yeah. Garrison for the thousand betties. Beans for the, for the sub. And Garrison for another thousand betties. Think of the two thousand bets, bro. Controls assets worth... Uh, for the kid that keeps spamming, are you going to apply high on life? I already did. Uh, I'm going to time you out if you keep spamming that. Uh, I've already played that game. Almost nine hundred billion dollars. The most which controls assets worth almost $900 billion, the most managed by any ruler anywhere in the world. But I digress. The Al Nahyan is surely an interest. Bro, interesting and this kid about to have the easiest life ever. Fucking luckiest RNG. Luckiest RNG, dude. Oh, my God. Like, that's like, bro, that, like, you're, where you're born is literally, like, video game RNG. Like, this kid just got, oh, my God, perks. Like, literally born level 99. 
That's that's crazy. Interesting family, and maybe you can let us know in the comments if you'd like to see a video about them. So when you consider all this wealth and status, having the largest private super yacht in the world at a price of six hundred five million dollars at an annual cost of sixty million dollars will not seem like such a big deal anymore. The yacht was built and released by German shipyard Lursen Yachts in 2013, and it has a length of 590 feet, a salon at 95 feet, and a beam of 59 feet. And what the yet fuck is a beam? He keeps saying a beam. I don't know fucking terminologies for yachts, buddy. Or fee for the 300 bets. This made me realize that what you think is good money makes you look so poor. What I think is good money? We're full for the sub 18 pink for the 300 bets. I would go out and eat every country... Go out with every country and bomb everything for fun. What the fuck? What do you mean? This just make you realize that what you think is good money makes you look poor. Oh, yeah. Comparison to this. I thought you were saying I'm making myself look poor. I was like, what? No, dude. Like, what? Uh, what do you guys... Net worth. Net worth. What do you guys deem as rich? Like, there's rich. There's well-off rich, super rich, right? Like, rich... Net worth, 10 mil. Like, 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 nah, that's, ugh. that's super rich. Rich net worth, 5 mil. Like, you're rich, right? Because that's net worth. That doesn't mean you're making that. Salary, salary rich, you're making, you're making half a mil a year. Well off, like, very well off is between 80K and, like, 450K. Like, you're well off. Like, you can basically do anything you want. You're never going to have any financial problems. S fuck you, money. Or not fuck you money, but rich starts from 500k a year and above. Fuck you money, two mil, two mil a year and above, and then super mega rich is like 50 mil. If you if you have a net worth of 50 million dollars, you can almost do anything you want. Didn't for the sub. Despite its huge size, 100k is nothing. No, it's not, dude. The uh, you gotta realize after like to live comfortably as an American, 60k a year on an individual salary, you're fine. Like you're living comfortably. Like after 65K a year, you don't really, the more money you have, it's not improving your quality of life anymore. You're, you can, it, it's, it's making it so life becomes more fun, easier, everything, right? Like, like that sense, right? But if you have 65K a year, you're going to be able to pay all your bills. You'll be able to pay for insurance. You might have financial struggle here and there if something bad happens, but you'll be able to get through it, right? Like 65K is, is a, a decent amount of money like a, a year like pretty good garrison for the 200 uh for the 2500 biddies like a good salary i would deem a 60 65k a year is a good salary that's good money like you're not rich but that's good money rich is over like over 150k now i'm changing my answer if you're making over 150k a year you're not rich but you're you're very well off two gas turbines and diesel engines generate up to 47 what about 10k a year that's less than minimum wage Minimum wage full time in most states works out to be like 20, 23K a year. Thousand horsepower, enough to move the behemoth at a top speed of 32 knots. And while the vessel darts through the open seas at high speed, its 60 crew members and 35 passengers take it slow and soak in the beauty of the earth. The water, which is probably what the fishes call the planet. However, unlike our planet, the Azam is properly named, and the name of the yacht being an Arabic word that translates to resolute. What is knots? It's the it's the how fat it's like the terminology for speed on the ocean. Instead of like miles per hour, you're going nautical miles, right? Because it's different. It's the ocean. In English. The four ship is about fifty meters in length and has a helipad. Like if you're going ten knots, I think you're going ten nautical miles per hour. On it. Inside the multi decked yacht, there are about 50 guest rooms. What's the difference between net worth and salary? Salary is how much money you make per year pre tax, right? So, say you make $400,000 a year, that's your salary. Post tax, you're probably making 200K. That's what you're taking away, right? But your salary is before the government takes the money, okay? Before the government takes their cut and the state. Net worth is the accumulation of all of your money and all of your assets together, right? Your net, say your net worth, like when they say Jeff Bezos' net worth is $200 billion, he doesn't have $200 billion in cash. He has $200 billion liquidatable. He has $200 billion in accumulation of how much his company is worth, his stocks, his money, his cars, his homes, everything that you own, what you have to you that you own 
it is attributed to you as your net worth. Arcade for the sub. A master suite and several other immaculate amenities meant for royalty. The interior design was done by Christophe Leone of Naughty Yachts. Perhaps the most remarkable thing about this yacht is that it took Lurson and Leone just three years to build this wonder. At almost 600 feet, the ship is 57 feet longer than the next yacht on our list. Number two, Eclipse. One. $1.5 billion! Billion, bro! Oh my god! Can you even... Is there anything else other than a, a mega yacht that you can buy for a billion dollars? Like, I don't think you can buy any... Other than a mega yacht and property, what could you buy that's more than a billion? You couldn't... No, there's no car that's more than a billion. There's no house that's more than a billion. There's no possible... A jet. Maybe a jet. Land? Land? Spaceships? Jet? Yachts is a billion. And even land. Like, what property of land are you spending a billion dollars on? That would be like a whole ass fucking island. Like, not even a private island. Like, you're owning, like, a, almost a small country. The shovel for the 300 bits. $1.5 billion. Blom and Voss are a subsidiary of Lurson, which is probably the top... Disney World? Disney World is worth way more than a billion dollars. How much is Disney World worth? It's worth so much. Bro, Magic Kingdom's worth $507 million. You could buy Magic Kingdom. I don't think they would let you, but that's what it's worth. Bro, he lit so this mega yacht is worth three times that of Magic Kingdom. Shipbuilding company in the world. In its beginnings, Blowman Voss. Special I would rather own Magic Kingdom. I would, I would rather own Magic Kingdom. Then, then a actually, that's cap. I would rather own the yacht. But, like, dude, would I rather own Disney World, basically? All of Disney World or a yacht? Disney World. There's more to do. Military vessels, with the Bismarck vessel being its most iconic. They and I don't even like Disney World that much. The Eclipse in 2010, six years before being acquired by Larson, and stands at 533 feet. It was the longest yacht until the Azam came along in 2013, and today it remains the fourth Dude, longest. Look, he's got another boat on the second fucking floor. Super yacht. The Eclipse has two powerful diesel engines that propel the yacht at 22 knots with almost 40,000 horsepower. And staying true to their military history, Blom and Voss have attached a missile detection system. Oh yeah, I'm doing that. Oh, I'm doing that. Oh, dude, if I if I have a mega yacht, it's about to be that GTA shit. I'm about to have fucking rocket launchers mounted on the sides and shit. Oh, I'm having my own fuck. Oh, it's literally like a country. My, my fucking yacht is literally a military vessel at that point. I'm having fucking rocket launchers and missile detection. Oh, I'm having everything. And a submarine that will submerge as low as 50 meters into the water. That's so However, cool. defending against military See, that's dope. I changed my mind. I want the yacht. Fuck Magic Kingdom. Axe is not a... <laughs> fuck Magic Kingdom. I don't give a fuck about that dumbass experience. All there is to this yacht, because what form of attack is more insidious than the piercing camera lens of the paparazzi? <laughs> That's right. The ship comes installed with an anti-paparazzi system that stops digital cameras from taking a shot. What the system does is make use of a laser shield that beams infrared light to detect a digital camera and focus bright light on it to render any photo useless. Basically, a high... But how the fuck did you get this? these images of the yacht? budget high-tech version of the police shining a torch in your eyes and then proceeding to slap you in the face. Eclipse has 24 guest cabins, two large pools, many hot tubs, a disco hall, and two helipads. The vessel is- Bro! See, here's the problem with being that rich, though. Like, people would be your friend just to go on this. Because if I knew somebody that had this yacht, I'm immediately being their friend. I'm immediately being like, yo, yo, bro, you want to be homies? Like, if, if you had somebody that you knew that owned this, even if they're a dickhead, you're still going to be their friend. Just because they have a fucking $1.5 billion yacht.
It's owned by Russian-Israeli billionaire businessman Roman Abramovich. He's also the owner of the English soccer team and current champions Why of do they Europe. all own soccer teams? Europe Chelsea Football Club. And when he and Sheikh Mansour are done playing in the Seven Seas, they go head-to-head in the English Premier League and other European competitions. He and Sheikh Mansour splurge a lot of money on their clubs, sometimes too much that the authorities have to slap no, them. No, but it's literally fuck you money to the point that they probably, like, one of these guys probably bought this yacht just to get a bigger yacht than the other guy like that's nuts that there's so many there's rich people that are that rich that they'll buy like a better sports car to just tell the other guy to go fuck themselves even though they don't really want it like it's just okay fuck you i have more money than you i'm gonna buy this quarrel for the 300 bets with a fine, but as nothing Mr. Abramovich can't deal with as his Eclipse super yacht, which is currently worth $1.5 billion, is only a fraction of his $18 billion wealth. Number one, history supreme. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, I thought it was gonna be like two bill. Five billion? Five billion? Four point eight billion dollars. This vessel is the smallest on our list, it's not remarkably fast, and it has the least amount of utilities, but is the only one covered in gold, platinum, and other Oh my god, is that real gold, dude? Luxurious metal. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. You're fucking kidding me. I feel like we've seen I feel like I've seen this yacht somewhere. Like I feel like there's a fucking video about this. I'm not going to be able to find it. Whatever. Let's watch this. It is said to have been designed by... See, but this doesn't even look like that big of a yacht. This just looks cool. But, like, which one would you rather have? Would you rather have this yacht or the other one? The $1.5 billion or this one? Probably the bigger one. Because this one's, like, tight. Yeah, it's gold-plated. Do I really give a shit that it's gold-plated, though? No. Liverpool the other luxury one has way more. designer Stuart Hughes in 2011. When Hughes announced the project, he didn't expressly state who the owner was, but gave hints to suggest it was Malaysian billionaire Robert Kwok. He is one of only three Malaysians with a net worth of over five billion, with the other two having a net worth of five billion and Kwok having just over ten billion. That makes so he spent half of his net worth on the fucking. See now that's just shitty financing. Okay, that's just sh how does this man have ten billion dollars? He spent half of his net worth on one thing like imagine imagine you're worth like three million and you spend 1.5 million dollars like that's unsafe i feel like that's that's like a terrible investment you just spent half of what you own yeah you still have billions left but still like that's percentage wise just stupid just for the makes sun. him the clear culprit since the ship cost the same as the net worth of the other two billionaires. The yacht has a luxurious master suite with a wall made from meteoric stone, with a sculpture made from real T-Rex dinosaur bones so sourced dope. from Arizona and said to be worth $89,000. You know, the way people hang sculptures of dead animals in their house, only richer this time. Now these yachts are all very expensive and you wonder what good could come from this level of vanity. Well, let's hear from Peter Lurson, the CEO of Lurson and kind of like the highest authority when it comes to yachts as we've seen in this video. He says that on the building of a ZOM, about 6 million hours of manpower was used, and this translates to employment for over 4,000 families. And that's not counting the number of jobs being created while maintaining these vessels. So you begin to realize that the luxurious lifestyles of the wealthy actually fund the lives of regular people. But what do you think of the five most expensive super yachts? A hundred people! Yeah, they spend $1.5 billion on a yacht. Now 100 people have a job. Let's not act like you could get, you could literally just own, you could start purchasing businesses and hire more people. Let's not act like they're buying the yachts for, for fucking job, job influxing. That, that, I don't even know if that's a fucking word. Whatever. Musashi for the sub, uh, look for the 300 bets. These soccer owners need restrictions. Owner of Chelsea spent $500 million worth uh, of players in the past six months. What do you mean? Just for the sub. That's nuts. That's Rich people fucking are nuts. That's so nuts, though. All right. Now we're on to the scary vids. We got, we got a few scary vids we're going to watch. Do we turn off the light chat? Dude, I love watching those videos. Do you guys like those videos? I could easily find way cooler ones, too. Like, there's so, I, I'll, I'll find more. If you guys have videos, too, exclamation point, Discord. 
Join the Discord and send videos for me to react to in the Discord chat. Video suggestion tab, exclamation point Discord. If my mods could spam the link, that would be very much appreciated. Not for the sub. Because there's so many YouTube videos about that stuff. Because, like, the mega rich by, like, not even that stuff, right? Like, yachts, yeah, everybody knows about mega yachts. There's rich people that buy some of the dumbest shit ever. And it's just fascinating to see, like, they'll spend billions of dollars on, like, literally, like, dinosaur bones. Or something like that. For no fucking reason. All right. Uh, not for the sub. I gotta go use the bathroom real quick, then we'll watch uh, these horror vids. Uh, but I'll play some music real quick. gotta fucking remember to turn my lava lamp on before stream that lava lamp is just now heating up and it's been on for four hours it's it's because it's a fucking two foot lava lamp it's like three it's like two three gallons of liquid in it so it takes forever to heat up snow for the sub turn off the light i only I, i'm gonna leave that light turned off uh this light i can't uh leave off though like you guys won't be able to see any look like, this is not, this is not react. Like, you guys could barely see me. You're not going to be able to see my face. You want it, you want it somewhat bright. All right. Ugh. Where did Joe go? Stop. All right. Are you guys ready for the scary reacts? We got a few, we got a few videos here. Uh, we might watch three. Right now, I have two queued that you guys sent me. Uh, big, big dub for chat as well. You guys sent me these videos, so we'll see how they are. Uh, you guys sent the Milkman and Fiona, a Shrek horror story. Uh, we'll, we'll look at some other ones too, if these are pretty shit, but if they're good, then we'll rock with them. Uh, but yeah, snow for the sub. How much money have you spent on Steam games, Joe? A lot. Uh, but the, I write off, I write off that stuff. That counts as a tax write off for me because part of my job is playing video games. So I can write off video games. Which is which is a dub. That's like the only benefit, right? So you use it as tax write-off. A lot of people don't know what tax write-offs are. Uh, and, and they kind of confuse that. A tax write-off, I'm just going to explain this before somebody asks. Is say you make $10,000 a year. And you write off $1,000 of stuff that has to do with your job. You are now taxed on $9,000. You don't get that money back. A lot of people think when you write off something, you just get that money back. When you write off something, like say you have, say you make 10 grand, you're going to get taxed on that 10 grand. You write off $1,000 of shit. Now you make nine grand. Now you're going to get taxed on that nine grand. That's how it works. Somebody says you fell off. Uh, didn't fall off. Even if I did, who gives a shit? That's life, man. Everybody falls off eventually. Within 10 years, yeah, I'll probably be irrelevant. Who cares? That's life, man. That's just how it works. Gracie for the sub chicken for the 300 bets. Uh, any game recommendations? The Dark Anthology series is really good on, on Steam if you're into story games. I, I would play those. All right. First, The Milkman. Deep scope? Somebody said you'll be relevant forever? Mm, probably not. Uh, but what the fuck is a peep scope? Bucky Ryan of the Daily Mirror. Is this like spying on people? Oh, 
just shows you a film. That's dumb as shit. You know, I low-key wish I was, a, like, I, I like that I'm alive in 2023, like, this era. But, like... Don't you kind of wish you were alive in, like, the 20s or something sometimes? Just so you could fucking scam everyone. Like, people were so fucking stupid. You, like, they had a pet rock. They, that was in, like, the 80s, too. You could sell people rocks, and they would buy them. Like, like, fucking idiots, dude. Everybody was so dumb. Somebody said, now I'm black. Okay, well, okay, well, okay, yes. <laughs> fair point, <laughs> fair point. I'm saying... In, from the perspective, from the perspective of how stupid people were. I understand that. That is a fair point. I'm saying on the, on the idea, on the idea that you could scam people because people were stupid. And they were also in part stupid because of the things that were going on at that time with, yeah, with racism and everything as well. But that's what I'm saying. People were just dumb. Why is he even using this? The Milkman. Twice a week, the Milkman delivers milk to the good citizens of Hollow's Town. Hollowstone. Fuck. Families all around town share the glory of drinking the tasty milk. Hey, yo. <laughs> until one day was poisoned. Until one family was poisoned by the milk. Holy shit. The townsfolk accused the milk the milkman Oscar White of poisoning the milk he sold. But Oscar was innocent. The townsfolk wanted him dead. Yo, that's also crazy that there was literally milkmen. Milkmen and ice people. That was, like, not that long ago, too. Like, their job was to deliver ice. Because fridges didn't have fucking electricity. And it was just a box that you put ice in. Like, it was like a Yeti cooler. The equivalent of that. Milkmen still exist. Yeah, in, um, in Europe, they do. In some, in, in some countries in Europe, they do. Don't they exist in the UK? That's crazy that you guys had milkmen. Like, what a fucking weird-ass job is that? What do you do? I deliver milk to people. Like, how is that really an eight-hour job? I feel like that would take an hour. Like, how many people need milk at all times? Like, that would not take eight hours to deliver milk. They threw him off a cliff. He fell to his death. Oh my god. They killed him at 24? Who the fuck is that behind him? I hate this house. I fucking hate this house. This is a grandma home, dude. Get an upgrade, bro. Holy shit. No fucking... I hate this style. Like, what is this? This little weird-ass cloth? There's just... Oh, God. Too many plants? Ugh. But he's macking an apple at 3 a.m. Is that milk? It looks like... Ooh. That don't look like milk. <laughs> it looks a little 
thicker than milk. I'm immediately leaving my house. I'm <laughs> after I read that fucking story about the milkman, I see fucking rotting curdled milk on the floor. Nah, that shit was old as fuck, too. Give it a taste. Why is it playing music like it's an ice cream truck? I see the hollow stone dairy. I'm getting out of my house. Like, I'm going to my neighbor. Like, fuck that. Oh, it's gonna be behind him. Stop. Never think to re-look at that shit. Oh my god, that's his house. Oh! Yo! Bro, I would fucking... I would actually soil my pants. I would shit my pants. If I was looking at... Bro, you're fucking... You're actively flipping through that shit from like 1960. You just see a fucking still image of yourself. They got long ass fingers. What is with that shit? The fucking wrap around the fucking. Oh my god, it's so dumb. Bony ass fingers. I'm about to club them shits with a hammer, dude. Yeah, peek. Oh god, don't look at it again, you fucking idiot. Oh! This looks stupid as shit. He ain't even scary. Bro, did he go in his basement? What? Wait, did he go in the worst possible place you could go? Did he just run into the one area where he can't leave? That's like... The action, dude, other than the attic, that's the second worst place you could go. Oh, come on, you fucking idiot. Oh, my God. Bro, why keep turning it? He's not going to attack you. He looks kind of nice. Ooh. Bro, it's just a fast move. Why is he so pressed? I don't know. Why did he kill him? Like, this guy did nothing wrong. Capulant for the three. Canada sells milk in bags. Yeah, I know. I uh, We talked about that one day. Uh, uh, Grace for the sub. Zite for the 300 bets. Can you say hi to Zach and, and Ion? Uh, I'm better than Ion in basketball. Cool. Uh, and hello. All right, next video.
How stupid. Fiona, a Shrek horror film. This already about to be so stupid. Yo! I'm saying this right now. Fiona is not killing me. Fiona is never killing me. Shrek might rip my skull off my head. Fiona's getting fucking soloed. F especially the non-ogre Fiona. Like, bro, you're dying. Like, she's not killing me. Like, you're fucking... You're, you're actually out of your goddamn mind. Like, no world is she soloing me. Especially if I'm in armor and I have a sword. She knows karate. Yeah, and I have metal armor and a fucking blade. Oh, she's she acting like she's fucking asleep. Bro, I'm never unsheathing my sword. You're actually crazy. You think I'm a Is that a heart? Oh, he's dead. Is it daylight still? Are you Princess Fiona? Has the sun gone down? Are you Prince fucking Cal kidding me? Dude, the first thing I'm saying, why the fuck do you have a heart? Why do you have a heart on a plate? What do you mean? Uh, is the sun down? Bitch, answer my question first. Why do you have a heart sitting there on a fucking platter? Scan it. People are saying TOS. It's not TOS, dude. Oh, my God. It's all fucking... Th it, real gore is TOS, chat. Real gore is TOS. Movie gore... Where it's to the to the effect where it's fucking obviously fake, like those intestines, dude. That's not TOS. Oh, I've come here to rescue you. Oh, she's gonna snap his neck. Uh 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 uh. Don't take my damn helmet off. Put that shit back on. Put that shit back on. Thank you. Yo, she looks nuts. I must go. No, 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 no. Oh, she's no. about to bite her tongue. It's too late. No. <laughs> oh! She turns into the little gremlin ogre and then kills people. Bro, just slice her head off. Fuck. Like, I'm too GG, it's too late. <laughs> I'm morphing! <laughs> Yeah, be ugly and green. Yo, Fiona, Fiona is literally, so, bro, Fiona from the movie Shrek, oh my god, no, no, dude, post it up. Somebody said she's bad. You think she's bad in ogre form? In ogre form, you think she's bad, bro? No, she's literally green. What did Sh what did Shrek Shrek human form? Shrek in human form looks so weird. Like it's just I hated that movie. I hated the I hated the one where Shrek was in human form. He just looks odd. Like I like regular Shrek. I don't even really like the Shrek movies anymore. Um, but yeah. It ain't gubble it, it ain't bubblegum pink. Yeah, it's sour apple green. Damn. Did he just bust ass? Yo, you're fucking kidding me. Come 
pillows in your eyes like she's gonna go away? That was so fucking stupid. That was so fucking stupid. That was like the worst video I've ever seen. Like, that was so dumb. The premise was good, but that was not scary at all. Hold on. I don't even think I jumped once. We'll watch Eden. We'll watch this last one. Sorry, I had a stretch. We've watched all the good short horror films. I don't think we have. There's like thousands of them. Lust of the beauteous garden will bait souls of the damned. And only then will they feel the wrath of Eden. Hope Seymour of the Forest. Bro, can y'all come on? Because I really got to be at work. Oh my morning. god, nigga, just call in like any regular person. Oh god, you really need to go to Alcoholics Anonymous because you this close. <laughs> Man, fuck you. Are you my dad? Nah, you know, it was definitely time to leave. I can't believe you tried to fight KP, man. Bro. Fuck KP. And his girl was all up on me. I you know that's his wife, it. right? And she was just trying to get back the bottle that you took out her hand. Man, man. he can get these hands. Y'all was lucky y'all stopped that hey, shit. Hey, hey, I ain't KP, dog. You looking at me. What's up? 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 Bro, why do people say TOS at every fucking video I watch, dude? Oh my god, Joe Bama for the second. Nah, you ain't gonna be no Up, drop his keys. What does TOS even mean in terms of service? They're saying that I'm breaking terms of service in the video. They're saying the video has something that is breaking TOS. It doesn't. Well, I thought they didn't have the fucking keys. <laughs> Chloe for the five fucking gifted. Dub in the chat for that. Thank you, Chloe Turner, for the five fucking gifted subs. Big dubs. Meek for the sub. Joe Bomber for the sub, too. Uh, and Chloe, thank you for the five gifteds. Thank Chloe if you got a sub, and thank you for the five gifteds. Hold up. This one person is just spamming Nigeria in my chat. Like, you realize, like, like yeah, you're not saying the N-word, but, like, what are you doing? Oh, look. Oh, they, they literally typed N-word. And then Nigeria. Like, yeah, you didn't type the N-word, buddy. We know what you're trying to do. Like, we're not talking about uh, African countries right now. Dumbass. L Chatter. Dookie for the sub. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, I can't find my key. What? Hey, y'all hold up. I'm finna go. I think I left my key outside. I'll be right back. I think I left my key. Don't leave me! Does he not see the fucking keys? Oh, shit. Man, you know what? They just don't make butts like they used to make. Let me see. Damn, she bad. She was at the crib, too. She was at the crib? Mm -hmm. She got a sister? Big mass shooting in California. Did you see that? What? Just now? 
Mass shooting in Monterey Park, California. Gunman kills 10 people near Lunar New Year Festival in California. 10 killed and 10 wounded in a mass shooting in Monterey Park, California. Wow. Did this just happen? Or are they reporting on it now? Oh, no, this happened yesterday. Holy shit. Dude, what the fuck? Like, I don't understand. Like, the idea of, like, people that do, like, mass shootings and commit murder and shit. Like, what are you fucking doing, dude? Like, the, you gotta have, like, no grasp of life for that. Like, to just be like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna go and murder everybody. Why? Rip in the chat for that. That sucks. My God. I didn't hear about that, though. All the news reports are new, but it said it was it happened last night. Oh, and they just found him. Wow, what the fuck? Ten dead in mass shooting in Monterey Park, California. Wow, that's sad. I'm ripping the chat for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that those people died. Oh, dude, mass shooters, mass shooters in any regard, like you got, like what the fuck, school shooters, mass shooters, like in any any sort of the sense, like. Like, why? Why? Like, even what you were going through, like, why do you just got to, you, like, you think it's, like, right to just go around and then, to, like, take it out on other people to the point where you murder them? What the fuck? Hey, Can I use your phone? I think I lost mine. Nope. What's up, beautiful? It's a little cold out here. Would you need a ride? That wasn't even a lead up. She just fucking killed him. Man, I'm about to go check on DJ before somebody think he's homeless. Oh, and he's about to be alone, and somebody's gonna walk in frame. No, dude. Why would they all go alone? You gotta stick together, bro. What the fuck? DJ. DJ. Bro, if I see him dead on the floor, bleeding out, I'm running to the car and calling him out. That doesn't even look like blood. That looks like water. Yeah, I'm hitting that dash. Good shit. Good shit. Get that fucking gas. Fuck. Elliot! Elliot! What did he get yoinked? Elliot! No! Oh, nah. uh, behind him. Bro, like, why, why are they all bad? Why are they all bad now? Like, they're, yeah, like, that, bro, that literally, yeah, that was like, a, somebody said Snapchat filter. Literally, bro, that looks like an Instagram filter. Some TikTok shit. What the fuck? Have I seen this one? I've already seen this one. See, some of them are good. Some of them are really good that we've watched previously, but it's like finding non-shitty fucking horror films are like impossible. Like ones that aren't just absolutely dog shit terrible. Knock, knock. What about this one? Nah, see, this one looks ass too. Like they all look fucking bad. Like I'm fast forwarding through this. Yeah, they're all ass. They're all ass. All right. We're dookie for the sub. Do we watch one more chat? Somebody said watch the other side of the box. Dude, I've seen that so many times. No. Somnium?
See, they all just look fucking awful. We'll watch one. Watch Sam and Colby, dude. Sam and Colby isn't scary at all. Sam and Colby, literally, bro. I'm not dissing them either. They're good YouTubers. It's not like, come on, bro. It's a fucking hour long video. My terrifying experience. Yeah, it's just like Maria. They don't actually see ghosts. They just fucking like it, they it, they try to find ghosts. They're ghost hunters. They talk to ghosts. It's not scary. It's interesting. Like I'm trying to watch something that's scary. Gunner TV, also not scary. He is a good YouTuber, though. All right, we'll watch OK Google. This is the last one we're watching today. Even if it's fucking shit, bows for the sub. Hey, Google. Turn off the TV. OK, turn off TV. I genuinely think OK Google, I think Google, like the OK Googles and the fucking Alexas, most useless shit ever. Genuinely. Hey Google, turn off TV. Maybe just get up and fucking press the off button. Maybe just get up, press the off button. You're that fucking lazy, you can't just press the off button on the goddamn remote. Like it's really not that hard. OK Google, uh, turn up volume by one. Dude, it takes longer to say that than to just fucking get off your ass and do it. Anything they can do. The only thing I would say is maybe like changing songs if you're cooking or something like that. But like the uses of Amazon Alexas and OK Googles, almost meaningless. It's only good for music. That's about it. OK, turn on upstairs bedroom light. No. Second I hear, a second I hear that OK Google fucking doing that shit. Ripping that bitch out of the fucking wall socket. Throwing it in the trash. Nope. Hey, Google. Turn upstairs light off. Okay. Turn off upstairs bedroom light. Oh, oh my God. Bro, I was expecting that shit to just turn off. That scared the fuck out of me. Oh, my God. That scared the fuck out of me. All right, this one's going to be good. I already know this one's going to be good. Yeah, good shit. Get a weapon. I'd rather say get a knife than the, the fucking fire poker. Works either way. Is anybody I'm, up there? No, not even investigating. Not even investigating. Just fucking just go outside. Just go outside. Call a friend. Get them to investigate with you. Nope. Bro, are you fucking kidding me? And you know, you know what I've never understood either? The slow walking. You know what I mean? Like, they don't know that you're slow walking. They still hear you. Like, if I'm in this scenario and I'm going to go investigate, I'm bum rushing them. I'm fuck because if, if I'm slow walking, they're preparing for me to be there. If I just fucking bulldoze them. Yeah, I just fuck. I linebacker sprint at that that motherfucker. My odds have increased of living. Whether it's a horror figure, a robber, anything, dude. If you bum rush them, th that's the element of surprise. If you're if you're walking slow as hell, they hear you. Are you fucking kidding me? Anybody there? And you hear him creaking up the steps. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Just be really aggressive. All right. Bro said, all right, about to announce his fucking, yeah, let, let, tell him that you're walking in, dumbass. You wouldn't rush that shit? Oh, you're right. I would leave. I'm saying if I had to, if I had to investigate, I would rush that shit. I'm not even investigating. That's why I'm not rushing it, because I'm going to fucking leave. There's gonna be nothing there, and that's gonna be behind him. Yep, nothing. Okay, turn on music.
fire ass music though, more comforting. See, he's still walking slow as shit. No. Now you're not gonna know when it's gonna attack you, you fucking idiot. Okay, turn on laundry room light. Ah! Oh my god, it's unplugged and it still works. <gasps> Dude, I would actually fucking shit my pants. And it's plugged back in too. Oh, it's not even on. Bro, and he's really gonna go into the laundry room. That fucking dumbass. Oh my god. Nah, is that the dog? You got a dog? Nah, if the dog ain't worried, I'm not worried. You know what I mean? Like, when your dog's bugging, that's how you know it's serious. Because they sense that weird shit. They sense that weird shit. If, I, if my dog's chilling, I'm, I'm not bugging. I'm going to be like, whatever. If my dog's not worried, I'm not worried. If my dog's worried, oh, if my dog's like in a corner fucking wincing or some shit, I'm getting the fuck out of there. But if they're ready to attack, I'm ready to attack. I'm with my dog on that one. Their confidence, because they know whether or not they're going to live or die that shit. I don't even know where the dog is, though. It's probably dead. Oh, oh my God. Stop. Why do they got a pan like that? Dog, what is that? Where are you? I'm throwing that shit at it. Oh, it's gonna show his face. Oh, it's gonna show its face. That's gonna be, it's gonna be, he's gonna look gnarly. Warning you. Get back, I have a weapon. I have a fire poker. Back. Google. Bro, sit, okay. The kitchen lights on. All right, Google. Turn the kitchen lights on. Bro, you unplugged it. Turn the lights on. Idiot. Google, turn the lights on. Okay. Oh, it's gonna Turning show off laundry room light. No! No! Come on! Nah, that was actually pretty good. That was actually pretty good. I like that one. Even though the ending wasn't that scary, I thought that was a good one. I genuinely think that was a good one. That was a dub. That was a dub video. I think the idea was good. All right. That was a dub video. We're gonna call it there, chat. I had a fun time streaming. I hope you guys had a fun time watching W stream in the chat. Meek for the three bets. What's your max bench deadlift and squat for one rep? Haven't maxed out in a long ass time. So I actually can't tell you. I think maxing out is kind of useless in the realm of working out. Uh, valves and the shovel for the side, unless you're a power lifter. Anyways, we're going to call it there. I will be live tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. EST for uh, Minecraft. Exclamation point Discord, you guys can join the Discord and send videos for me to react to uh, or games for me to play. We have a video suggestion tab and a game suggestion tab. I will be live tomorrow, uh, Monday at 4.30. We're going to be doing the Minecraft Hardcore World. Tuesday, I will not be live. Wednesday, we're going to be starting As Dusk Falls, which is a game, uh, a story game where chat actually decides the outcome uh, of each thing, which is actually pretty interesting rather than me choosing. Uh, Thursday, we're probably going to be doing unbans and maybe some philosophy, probably a philosophy stream Thursday. Uh, maybe some Valorant with it as well. I don't really know yet for that. Uh, Friday reacts, uh, and next Saturday, I don't know what we're doing. We might finish as dusk falls next Saturday because we're going to start it on Wednesday. But yeah, W stream in the chat. I had fun streaming. I hope you guys had fun watching the shovel for the 500 videos. Uh, said Raid Finster. Why do I know that user? They have 4,000 viewers. I want to raid somebody that's small today. Who could we raid that's a small streamer, chat? Give me a small streamer. I want to raid somebody that's small. Uh, but yeah, think of the 500 biddies. Uh, and rate Ion 2. Moon rate. Oh, God. Now you guys are saying so many fucking uh, usernames. J, please. Techno. Rex. Who is Rex? That's an easy to type. He's playing Fortnite. Why not? We'll raid him. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow. W stream in the chat. We had a great view count today. A great uh, chat session as well. You guys were very active today. 
Uh, Spectrum for the sub. Yo, boy, for the sub. Uh, I appreciate everybody that came out. Everybody that donated, sub, everything. Uh, I appreciate all of you so much. And I'm glad that you come out into the stream. And I'm glad that I could entertain you. And I hope to see you again in the future, whether it be tomorrow or any other stream. Uh, but yeah, I will be live tomorrow at 4.30 uh, for Minecraft. And I will see you guys then. We are going to raid in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I don't know if the... Okay, yeah, it went through. TikToker. Oh, shit! Joe! Thank you so much for the raid of...